All right. Looks like we're looking pretty good then. No issues, no new frames, 60 frames. Your camera's looking good. Oh, light kind of bright. Anyway. <coughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah. It's been a while, Twitch. Um, nothing really much too much to say, to be honest. Welcome. I am Drow, and I will be your gaming buddy for this evening. As I used to be in the past. <laughs> um, yeah, I miss streaming, honestly. I've missed being able to do this sort of stuff. I miss doing a lot of things. I've found over the last couple of months, I've somehow, it's one of those things where having to rediscover yourself a little bit and having to like really find how you do things has been a big part of just existing. So I figure I'm getting back to roots a little bit. I've wanted to stream for a little bit, and I just haven't found the motivation or the need. And I figured, what the hell? Just let's just do it. Let's not put any like, not that I'm not putting effort into it. Trust me. I've got new lights <laughs> up the back there, up behind you, um, which is really lighting up this space a little bit. I think. I think probably I could turn down the um, turn down a little bit of the lights actually, uh, making me look a little if I'm honest. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I got a new camera to work with and uh, the high resolution I think really works kind of well. Um, my hair is definitely longer compared to when I last streamed in May. And um, but the content in terms of what I'm like wanting to stream hasn't changed. Oh, I got a new PC as well. Although I think I did do a stream of me building the new PC and that was the last time I did it. So. Anyway, um, I've got some jazz queued up for the meantime. I'm back to playing Sky Factory 4, which is just me just having a nice, good old chill time. Um, I'm not aiming to get anything out of this. I'm just doing this to relax and all that sort of stuff. So, um, oops. Uh, not really much else to say, to be honest. I'm just going to switch over to... <laughs> this doesn't have the thing. Uh, I didn't... I forgot to set this up. Hang on. Uh, I need to add a new capture device. ZX. Um, that back down to the webcam. I did not think about this at all. I think I'm retiring the old webcam for various reasons. I'm way too big. I think I need to like switch up the webcam just a little bit. In fact, hang on. I do need to add a filter. Not the bigger one, the reset filter. No, I need to add a crop. Right. Top. Let's go. One twenty-five. That fits me on nicely. I just locked it, didn't I? Yes, I did. The reason why I don't have. I'm just gonna get rid of this one for now. At the moment, I'm just. Playing around with some bit settings, but yeah, Sky Factory Four, we're back in it. Um, 
Oh, hang on. Because this one. Dang it. Stuff is moving around. Background, game capture. They stay at the bottom. That I won't worry about for now. Uh, All right, I think we're pretty good. I got all my layers up and everything like that, so we should be okay for this. I'm going to hit play on the jet. There we go. Be good, that could be good. I think all that stuff is looking good, so let's just get in. Uh, now with Sky Factory 4, I do like playing with Prestige, it's good. Um, we're gonna Prestige farm a little bit. Which means these previous worlds aren't gonna like really be anything too much to stick by until at least I get well um I'm gonna leave the call this um first one was the bonsai pots point two is the um the ore excavation. We'll just go in and we'll see if I can do this a little bit more efficiently than I did with my test run the other night. I haven't played Minecraft for a long time either, so. Bonsai trees, prestige enabled, blah 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 blah. We gotta go through all these. It's relatively easy. Jeez. And already we've got our first one, so it's okay. Mine straight down. At least got the one sapling, so that's not a big issue. Think is station up and running. Not exactly a speed run, but we're gonna need enough space to do everything, so nothing will be sacred is what I'm getting at here. All right. Microphone's going to pick up on this, as always. There we go. Punch the tree. Wood, turn the wood into thing, turn this into stick. I don't need double because I can always repair the thing. I need the sticks for some other stuff.
First goal is going to build up platform. But we do once we get access to um, once we get access to clay, we will have access to bonsai pots. So that's going to be. start with a basic axe as well. And yes, I could make slabs. Not going to. Get my ginger here as well. Brooklyn. Saved all these from my previous bit, so let's see. Got enough for another dirt. Okay. Smash the button. gonna sound kind of crude, but I am double fingering the shift button. Bro, you stinking tree. There we go. It'll feel so good to get ore excavation. Makes these early stages like that much quicker. I like the prestige system in this. I've said that before. It's just, it's like, it gives you that sense of, I don't know. I, I have finding that I do like roguelikes. Um, a lot. I mean, I love Slay the Spire. Um, I've heard that 30XX released recently. Oh, right. Okay. Ugh. Good thing about Sky Factory 4 is just this. this. Oh. Repair the crook! You nearly need to make one and you just keep fixing it. Once I get ore excavation, this part gets really... I've got to go through the whole thing of having to do this. What I learned from the last run, I'll probably get some grass growing pretty early on. I don't need to get a massive... Both of these down just yet because I'm gonna make the crucible straight away. Here as well, advanced book, I don't need you. Get the crushing one. Oh, slabs. Crushing tub. Might as well make another shelf. Make another drying rack. Um. Grow out that way a little bit from here. I'm just one, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
I need a bunch of those acorns. I will just double this for now because I'm always going to make more dirt. Whoops. Well, I'm using that food early on. I thought there was another piece of food. No need for the coffee cup, so just goodbye. The advancement book I don't need as well, because what is the advancement? It just opens up this page. Really useless. Alright, got one. as we go I guess so it's not a big issue if I lose a couple of years there. The main thing I need is the acorns. What I'm gonna need is a ton of the um petrified. Almost need to like spend ten minutes alone just mulching down on the petrified acorns. Okay. Oh, I would love to have Vein Mine right about now. Any good Sky Factory player knows that Vein Mining is potentially deadly, but it is your best friend for early game stuff. Of these suckers. I'm gonna get some of these drying already. And the rest I'm going to need. Oh, what about this? Put it on the end, and then this thing. Get needs to have a little bit of space because that thing is gonna freak out. Let's make some more dirt. Let's start expanding a little bit. a little bit on either side here. Creepy, real nice and slow like.
And this should give us a nice little base of operation. to expand also enough room to get things done bam 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 I'm only gonna need two more after this It's not too dark on the thing, is it? I want to check if it is like on the feed itself. And yeah, this monk is not exactly the most helpful when it comes to viewing it. It doesn't seem too dark. But I've got the brightness turned right up in the game, so. Multitasking. I'm pumping the wood at the same time as pumping, twerking the wood at the same time as growing it. Words you would not say anywhere else except for like stupid game like this. <laughs> All right. Broken. Alrighty. What is stick for repair? Oh, I can. Get rid of the builders want. <laughs> nope. Needs to be actual wood plank. Oh, the Tinker's one is way better. Well, we're here, dirt. And this should fulfill our minimum requirement for dirt. Because if we're growing all these trees manually, they'll, um, they're relatively easy to get. Also, am I at the point where I can make wooden cheese? I am, actually. as we go still but actually at the very least we just need one more dirt because if we get the at least one more dirt because then we can start multiplying the heck out of the dirt here we go again Back off from here and just... This whole thing with the trees is so stupid. <laughs> Which is the way I could keep it going without needing to... Use hands. A 
both up one. This might be the final round of dirt for now, because if you know how to multiply the dirt, it's not exactly difficult. Uh, back to mashing the key again. <laughs> also, I'm curious. Oh yeah, the sound is coming through. Alright, good. Um, off the top of my head, it's just this followed by this. Good. Um... Then the natural decay should just lead us to... Oh, hiccups. I don't know if it's just a me thing or... I get hiccups whenever I drink. If I eat too fast or if I drink... Um... A lot of times anything with like some sort of carbonation in it. I really wonder what triggers that. Ugh. I don't think half the time. I think it took me about four hours to get that first prestige point. But once I'm into the, like, bit where I can get some clay and get some bonsai pots happening, I reckon I could probably even do it within two or three hours, maybe. Gonna have another bite. Honestly, the noodle bar near where I live is the best. Shut up notifications. I can just single hand the uh Alrighty. Um I could potentially start committing the to water, but I don't have the iron yet, so... Oh, hang on. I need the petrified sapling in order to get the next bit. Also, I should get the unlimited water source up and running as soon as I can. at least for two cobblestone. Now I'm gonna make... Two more of these. Mm-hmm. 
gonna move this. I'm also gonna move. Just labs. Make another one of these. Make it. Because then, if I go. That's all set up for later. When I get a bucket. And now, back to this. Low trees. Mashing crazy. Grr, 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 grr. Just these two. <clears throat> Don't actually need to do any shearing. I won't do any shearing until I get to the cottonwood. Cottonwood's the point where you need to like really shear some things because you can get, really get some easy straight. Oh. Ah, there we go. Got it. Alright. Chopping. Chopping. Bit of a side note, I have considered moving this across to the YouTube space. Almost can't be bothered with the setup and all that sort of stuff, but at the same time, it feels like it could yield some better results. I don't know. I'll think about it, but Twitch has been good over the years. I mean, four years on Twitch, of them, maybe two of them are fully active. I don't know. We'll see at least. For any of you wondering, that is a ginger beer. But I am not of the alcohol. <laughs> Anyone wonders what I sort of really do offer in this space? It is often just... Just a chill vibe. Also, I just realized... going to be a good upgrade. Thank you. 
I think there is a stone bucket. Any other manner that falls from the heavens, or we'll just have to come as it comes. <clears throat> All right, uh, slabs. I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. the grossest sound ever. I learned my lesson. Put this in the middle with a wall against it and it won't drop out into the flipping ether. We're up to gravel. Which is good. How much stone can I make? access to four I can make the stone bucket will not work as a bucket but good to cast one okay so useless um might have been worth this point me Two patterns. Stencil table. Pattern chest. Heart builder. Station. Got a bunch of those in there. Head binding tough, no, just standard tool rod and put one of these in there as well. I think if we upgrade to stone tools straight away, it might be worth our time. Either way. One and two. One and two. One and two. Why did I make those?
Um, means I can get rid of this pretty much straight away. Be gone, be gone, be gone. We'll do a couple more rounds of the petrified saplings because I'm I get the idea we are kind of some of those. Dirt. Let's put the dirt away for now. Gravel will come. Invest in a stone crook next because it will help with some of the stuff. I'm not going to go all out on the tools until at least I've got ore excavation, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Kind of anticipate me going for about three or four hours tonight. Oh boy, or excavator will be useful to restart with. Thankfully, most of these trees are. Most of the time it's just waiting for the acorns to drop. I always get the feeling like acorns dropping is probably just like... Um, it's better just to wait for things to drop. Goodbye to the wood boy. You've served me well, but be gone. This one lasts longer and is faster. I wish I had a HD skin for this. For the graphics. I mean, it's, not, it's pretty good. It's good old classic Minecraft vibe and all that sort of jazz. Huh. I need a furnace pretty quickly as well. There we go.
I do get maybe the shovel would probably be much faster than the pickaxe. But either way, we'll be we'll have lots of like resources and stuff as we go. I need to remember I need some pigs and I need some cows as well. As soon as I can get them for the map. Now the big thing is cobble. It's the acorns that hold, hold this one back. Bone and clay, eat the dirt, make a bucket. Alright, how do I do the next stages? Gravel, that's right. Okay, I needed the bucket, which means I need the clay. Right, put petrified on hold for now. We'll start working on the clay because the clay is what's going to start letting us get to like some good stuff. Watching some old Sky Factory 3 stuff recently. And um, it's funny, like, having played Sky Factory 4 for such a long time, um, it's funny going back and seeing, like, the old. The differences between like Sky Factory 3 and 3 and 4. It's um Yeah, Sky Factory 3 is so much more random with its resources versus Sky Factory 4 where you can actually target it but it takes a little bit more to like really uh, get in the automation side of things. They both have their perks. here because if I can unlock the bonsai oh that was loud mr. Wrigley with a bunch of people thank you very very much welcome in boys and girls and gents and everything in between how are you all a doing what brings you in this fine fine evening what brings in the raid 113 of you hope you guys are all having fun what were you doing this is just me having a nice little chill time of things. Wow. I admit, I haven't had a raid this big. The biggest one I've had is probably about half his size, so I am honoured. 
Honestly, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Minecraft uh, pack called Cubid Outpost. Sky Factory 4 that brought you in. Nice, nice. I built this new computer back in May, and I've had to restart everything from scratch. So, um, yeah. Uh, basically, I... I'll, I'll say up front, the thing I loved about um, Sky Factory 4 was the prestige mode. Jeez, wow. All of you guys, thank you so much. <laughs> this is honestly, I haven't streamed since, honestly, since May. And I've just been a bit under the, under the, just feeling a bit low. And I'm like, you know what? I'm getting back into it. I'm going to like jump back in and like, in, like just relax and just enjoy myself. And wow, all of you guys, thank you so much. Um, welcome back to screaming. Well, thank you very much. What's Cuboid Outpost like? Um, I personally love just the automation and just not so much like the like on the ground you've got to like deal with all like the spawning and zombies and everything. This one is just control, and I, don't know, I like the controls aspect of it. So I don't know. I would like Cuboid then. All right. How, how new is Skyblock like? Okay, good, good, good. Angel Shine, thank you very much for the bits. Uh, Skyblock like... Um, are we... In terms of, like, the space, or in terms of the, like... The freedom to just build stuff, or what are, what are we talking about? <laughs> Snake oil prompt. <laughs> I forgot I had that on. Jeez, I, I don't know. It's been it's it, there's been a few things. Uh, snake oil prompt, something from Nothing Quest pack with a great story. Ooh, 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 ooh. I will tell you, I do have a project coming up in mind that I will be doing some research, research streaming for. Um, <laughs> the Rubik's. Jeez, there's a few things coming up. Uh, I'll deal with these things one at a time. I'm very. If, if you know, like, personality psychology at all, um, you know that I'm very much uh, um, an INTP, which means I tend to, like, really, um, like, focus down on certain things. Uh, apocalypse and you live in a hut. Ooh, I have seen, I have seen, um, there was a Stranded Forever pack, which I was looking at recently, but, um, anyway. Uh, which was very similar, so, um. All right, uh, hang on. Give me two secs. What have I got here? Uh, the glass. Okay. Uh, the glasses I'll have to dig up. The Rubik's Cube I can go and grab. Um, give me two seconds. Uh, and the snake oil prompt. Um, if you've ever, uh, have you guys ever played snake oil before? It's basically, um, I'll need an occupation and I'll need two random words to make a product. And I'll take a minute to try and convince you guys, uh, as the occupation to, um, uh, to, yeah, try and like see if it's worth buying that product. <laughs> All right. Rubik's cube. Uh, I, I don't know. My my average is typically around the like 70 to 90 second mark, but we'll see how we go with this. Stopwatch. Alright, let's see if I can actually get this done. Um and I am not a speed solver by any stretch of the imagination. So don't expect any wonders from me in that regard. But um I I do okay with my times a little bit. I am very much a slow sort of person in a lot of regards where I'm just... I, I really do t like to take my time and encourage other people to take their time. It's, that world is already fast enough as it is. Whoops. Yes. Um, and if the world's already fast enough as it is, then honestly, like, you all need to just, maybe just have a moment just to relax and just take a few. Have a chamomile tea and all that sort of jazz. Um, hang on. Urgh. 
This is not one of my fastest. I was doing it off the reflection in a train window the other night um, as I was traveling home and um, I think I was doing better off the reflection in the window than I was this <laughs> that I'm doing now. Um, oh great, it's on this one. Which I got the right the first time this time. Hooray! Go so me. Um, done. Stop. Yeah, that was one of my worst times. A minute thirty-two. So, um, <laughs> thanks for that, Malvrick. Um, let me get back. <sighs> Sorry, I got to catch up on the chat chat a little bit now. <laughs> Uh, better than stranded. Okay, okay. Um, give me two secs to make note of that for myself. Create notes. Uh, what was it called again? It was um, cuboid outposts. Let's take a look. Cuboid outposts. Excellent, excellent. Better than stranded. Just use an app to solve it. <laughs> Job, waste management engineer, orange and mercury. Okay, okay. Uh, let me let me think about this for a second. Rain. Ah, oh, it's in the in the. Okay, I was trying to figure. Where's the rain sound coming from? Uh, more building options than. Uh, let's take a look. Downloading it. Couple more QOL mods too. Quality of life mods. Well, yeah. QOL outpost. I'm sure to check it out. All right. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why that one didn't come through. Uh, what did I say? Uh, Amosatha. Amosatha. Uh, star. So they're there. I can't even get the words. Orange and mercury. Wait a minute. All right. I'm going to take a think about the second I think about this while I chop down this tree. <laughs> um. It's going to go dark. It's, it's brewing in my brain. It's going to go dark. <laughs> Snake oil. Thank you, Tyloo, 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 what? I, my screen is small, I can't see a thing when I'm looking at it. Tyloo, thank you very much. Um, right, well, hang on. Get out of here, f thing on my phone. Timer, one minute, now that's an hour. One minute. All right. So a waste disposal guy. Well, I'm sure in the industry that you would have, you know, things that you need to get rid of everything. And I imagine this will be a solve all for you. Uh, imagine this as you would. The um, cleaning products that you have just probably don't cut the muscle. They don't quite get things quite scraped off as you would expect to. But, in the realm of cleaning, there is a certain type of metal that will eat away at anything that you uh, desire. Dead bodies, no problem. Uh, I present to you Orange Mercury, the dissolve all. Not even can be held by beakers or test tubes or anything, even made of glass. It dissolves everything. What does it hold? What did you hold it in? I don't know. Just hope you can use it, spray it on what you need to, and survive. <laughs> I have no idea how you guys <laughs> I don't know. That's the best I could come up with based off that, of those prompts. <laughs> I don't know. How did I go? Would that would, it, would, would a waste management person buy that sort of product? <laughs> um, I'll see if we can find the glass. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I picked these up at New Year's the other day. 
uh, the other day, at the start of the year, um, New Year's Eve, and I figured, oh yeah, it's kind of fun. Um, I don't know how well they're still, if the battery still works, but it really, I can't see a thing when they're on. So, <laughs> uh, need a container when you have that, yeah, wait. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to store that product in. <laughs> Just holds everything you put in your back pocket. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh... Would the solution not be held at a hazard? I I don't know. I mean, that, once we sell it to you, that's your problem. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll get back to the other solution in just a second. I just wanted to see... What was I in the middle of doing? I was... Oakwood... I was making more cobble, wasn't I? Hang on. I'm short acorns. Was I making acorn or clay? No, I was making clay. Because I did unlock the one prestige point to make pots. Which... Why am I in caps? Bonsai. Yes, I got the hopping bonsai pots too. So, let me just... Blah, blah. I gotta cook the bricks first, which means I need to go back to stone anyway. Which means I need to make the... the clay. And because I'm being a lazy sod, I'll do it this way. All right. Play, play, play. Back to rocks. I'm gonna put these in here because they're stuffing up my inventory. The one thing this thing does give you a lot of is the wood. <laughs> so, I don't know, we'll see. Um, all right, uh, what was the other one? Who was that one? Master Crafter. Snake girl, products, new. I'm not, hang on, I'm not following that one. Snake oil profession, door-to-door -door salesman. And then the two words, I don't know, new, blue cheer. <coughs> I'm going to pick two random words from that. I'm going to like, underpants and blue underpants from a door-to-door -door salesman. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, da, 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 da. getting the max headroom vibe in the glasses. <laughs> Didi Dancer. No, that's all right. If you go, go, that's a uh, world wanders off to a corner and curls up in a kitty bed. That's only a piece and lurks in the shadows. <laughs> we can see the glowing eyes. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> uh, I've really got to go through and really set up some of my old commands and stuff. I don't know. It's been a while. I've I used to be a, uh, just in terms of context, I used to be a banker. I'm getting into massage therapy, and yet I still love all this, like, um, online stuff. I don't know. Anyway, my next project I was going to be doing is, um, very much, like, adjacent to Minecraft. Dragon Quest Builders 1. <clears throat> um, I have a very much, like, an affinity for, I'm going to take them off because I need to see what I'm doing for a second here. And it's flashing, which is driving me nuts. Um, I very much have an affinity for, like, I don't know, story-based games, along with, like, the combination of, like, just the open world ability to do anything over the yard. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Angel Shine, you too. Have a good night, guys. This is in Australia right now, so wherever in the world you are, should get a Max Headroom background to go with the classes. I don't know what Max Headroom is, but, eh, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I figured, I love the idea that it's got the story, I've got, um, I can do the voiceover work for it a little bit. I'm very much amateur. Angel Shine, Norway. Ah, wow. Wouldn't expect anyone from that end of the world. It's still relatively early evening here in Australia, so, um... If you know Sky Factory 4 at all, then you know that this is relatively early in the, um, in the process. Um, but anyway. If I do zone out at any point, it is just literally because I'm just, um... Like I said before, I'm very much one, one thing at a time sort of person, so I don't multitask <laughs> well in the sliders. It's a guy who was trapped in a TV from the 80s who started a lot. What? <laughs> Uh, over the uh, lovely from the Philippines. Hey! Brother from another mother, represent. 
I don't know. I was born here in Australia, raised Australian, so I... Yeah, I'm half Filipino. Um, I know pretty much not the Garlock at all. <laughs> Giggle the headroom guy, it's on YouTube. I'll check it out. Head room joy. All right, it's in my list. On, it lists things on my phone. Call me AR if you want. To. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I see the name, and eventually I get to shortening it when I configure things out. And I don't know why I'm slipping into a bit of an Irish accent there. It's definitely not Scottish. Scottish would have a bit more of a rasp to it. Bit more of a rumble, bit more of a tweak. I don't know. Now I am curious about uh, everyone in chatter still. Where in the world y'all from? Where are y'all hail from? I don't know why I'm going Scottish on this one. It just seems awfully convenient. Uh, I need to make some rocks. Plant your rocks. Missouri? Ooh. I know I've got some buddies who do come from stateside, but I can't ever imagine anyone from Missouri. I knew a couple of, well, I knew a fair few people from Utah back in the day. <laughs> um, uh, who else do I know? What other places do I know? I met someone from Michigan the other night? I don't know. Germany, some in US, some... Got some Kiwis in chat as well. Good, good. Yep, we've got enough for a furnace now. Let's make the furnace. Although my tools are going to break, but that's... No... Hang on. Let's just do this first. Make the slabs. Get the, achie get the accomplishment. Good. Uh, what are we up to? Well, I did make the thing, so I can make the bucket. A bouquet. Let's make the bucket. One, two, three. We're going to at least need two buckets. What the fruity tootie? No! <laughs> Just let me put something down. I don't care. Burn the wood. I got tons of wood. I need more rocks. All right, here's a fun question that I always like to ask people. We all have that voice in the back of our head. Some of us are all fully like aware of it, of, uh, of it. Others sort of, sort of see it as a bit of a, um, a bit of a idea, but not exactly reality. Um, I take the stance that everyone does have a voice in the back of their head that narrate, narrates. I can't even English. That narrates that like they, they're like day to day, whether it's like a narration of explaining what you're doing or whether it's like a sub commentary, like the B side track of like an old DVD or something like that, or a Blu-ray where they've got the, like the, the um, director's commentary or something like that. We all have something like that in our minds somewhere. My question is, it's either an accent or it's a celebrity of some sort. And I'm going to go on a thing here and say, not you cannot choose Morgan Freeman for this because it's such an iconic voice. But who is that voice in your head that runs that commentary on your life in the back of your mind? <laughs> I'm curious as to like what different voices people would have. Master Crafter. <laughs> Alright, Crafter, it's just you. My voice, but I speak in English 50% of the time. Oh, it's a different, different, different language? Okay, that's interesting. I went through a stage where I know the voice in my head was Billy Connolly.
Although, if you want a more recent reference, I do know, do know Mark Manson. Um, I've seen... I saw a bunch of his stuff on YouTube recently. And by recently, I mean within the last six months. And his cadence really stuck around for me a lot. Oh, yes! The water's filling these up! I didn't realize. Good. Water's filling... What? The rain is filling those up. Excellent. Oh, the one thing I miss from Sky Factory 3 is looking straight up going, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Eating the rain. Um, need more rocks. Bang rocks, make fire. Um, What was I trying to reference with that? Oh, Yoshi's Island. Make eggs, throw eggs. Uh, What do I want to do? I've got my buckets. So I can get unlimited water now. And with unlimited water, I can also make unlimited dirt, which is good. But I need to get to the cottonwood stage because I want... There's a reason why I want to use my shears up for that. Um... Ginger beer empty? Yep, ginger beer is empty. Ah. Oh. Forget your Vegemite, forget your Tim Tams. This is one of the good reasons why I'm living in Australia. A nice Bundaberg ginger beer. Perfect stuff. Oh, I'm still eating my dinner too. Probably gone a little cold. Um, what was I wanting to cook in here? Well, I wouldn't cook my bricks. Uh, I need the bone sapling. The bone was drying stuff out. No, it was washing gravel. That's right, I needed to start doing my gravel. Doing my gravel. Clay, 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 clay. Put you over there. It's gravel time. I do have an accent when speaking. Really, AR? Where did you say you were from? I'm just looking through chat. Philippines. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, because you were Filipino. Is it the full, like, you gotta tell me, is it the full Pinoy accent or is it like a combination of somewhere else? <laughs> I have to go to work, but I want to. <laughs> we'll be back later today or next time. Have fun. As I get back in more of this, I'm sure I'll have a schedule. I'm sorry I don't have anything for now. Like I said, I'm just getting back in. But uh, look, thank you for coming along. I will have fun. I will. I am determined to unlock the Ore Excavator mod in this next. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, look, good luck with work. Whatever you do, um, stay safe. And uh, I'd love to see you back here sometime, I'm sure. I don't know why I went back into the Irish accent for that one, but... I'm sure I have reasons for it. What are you doing? Bonsai! Alright, um... Going to be future IT doing some programming. Hmm? Hmm? IT, there's always demand for it. Alright. Um... Need to make some dirt. Five dirt. Excellent. Now we have the dirt. We need, oh, that's right. Cottonwood was this whole debacle for bones and stuff. Gravel was what I needed to make. We'll save the dirt. That's right. Flint was a whole thing from this as well. Okay. Organized. Good. Great. So AR, learning to code as in um, any particular coding language. I personally am not too like versed in the coding side of things myself, but I've 
I delved into it years back. Honestly, this is going back like over a decade. So I'm sure things have changed significantly. <laughs> I mean, honestly, these days you put something out a week later, it's out of date. So who knows? Grow you sticking trees, grow! Alright. Also, do I have any replacement cobble, actually? Oh, yes, I do. Good. I reckon as soon as we've got access to it, the second we've got access to a uh, cobblestone generator, we are absolutely going ham on that. We can retire the... Um, Petrified trees as soon as that hits. Whatever school... I use whatever school provides, whether C plus or Java or Python. Okay. It was never programming languages per se, but just languages in general I found always interesting. Structural and all that sort of stuff. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, there's the usual sort of delve in, uh, diving into, like, Japanese for the manga and, and, um, all that sort of side. I did spend a couple of months with one job I had, I used to have. Uh, I don't speak a lick of it, and everything that I learned back then I've forgotten. But I did get put into a Chinese-speaking program for a work thing I was doing once. Um, I was, we were often paired with other people, um, as part, like, we worked in pairs as part of the job. But, um, yeah, basically, I was just put there to um, fill space for something, but eh, that was interesting. I did get to learn a few things, but again, don't ask me to repeat anything from that because it was, like, literally, like, that long ago that I have forgotten any possible stuff that I learned back then. Um, <clears throat> all right. We need Bravil. Good. I got four of these. I can use my buckets now. Get out of the way. Hopefully these all filled up. At least two of them filled up. Good. Infinite water. No matter where you sit. This is where I need leaves. Huh. I only got three leaves. I need more leaves. Uh, let's switch from gravel back to petrified. I don't need many, I just need enough. Just shear my way through this! Alright. <clears throat> Would that be enough for all this sort of stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Actually, I'm curious about one thing just quickly. I'm just gonna... Pause for a second here. If you guys want a little fun something to do in chat, I'm pretty sure I still had some of the old games set up to do with just I don't know. I know um Twitch has the built-in cheers and all that sort of stuff. Um <clears throat> But I'm pretty sure the Streamlabs Cloudbot had a few random bits and pieces and bits and bobs there that they, that was there. There you go to dashboard. Uh, all widgets? Was it the widgets? No, alert box. No, 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 no. Under cloud box. Oh, it's been turned off. I'm going to turn it on again. Because I remember... There was a heist mini game. There was a gamble mini game. 
There was the eight ball. I'm gonna just quickly test something for chat myself. See if it still works. It was the X-Motion. Turn it back on. Because that was what managed my Lurk command as well. I'm just going to do this quick testing in chat just for myself and... Yeah, I don't know. If you want something to do... <laughs> Uh, 49 plus 3 is what, 52? Will that get me a full stack? I don't remember. <clears throat> right. Now, I can make mud. And once I make the mud, then I can make grass. And then I can really start to expand things out a bit. Bloosh. With the 16 grass blocks, I can boop 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 boop. Oh no, it's not a shovel. Don't. Um, I completely forgot words for a second there. <laughs> Don't unalive me for using pick on me. <laughs> I'm lazy and I haven't got the all-in-one yet. Um. I need to put this empty bucket away for a little bit. Oh, spare grub. Let's put you away because I only need the one bucket for new. Bucket. Bucket time! Alright, um. Sploosh, 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 sploosh. Sploosh. Is that all of them? Nope. Water in the bucket, bucket in the barrel. Barrel in the thing, turn to mud. And I got the grass. I got the grass to be smoking the herb and all that sort of stuff. I have no idea what I'm saying. But we're going to expand the grass out here because I already know I'm going to need flowers. Flowers, I remember, is going to be an important thing for my first run. Because it'll get me access to yellow and red dyes, which will allow me to build a market. <clears throat> Once I can build a market... Um, Um, once I build the market, there's something that happens after that point, which I completely forget. But I'm also just going to skaploosh. 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 Uh, and I was going to build underneath the platform as well. Bloosh. Bloosh. Back up we go. Um, <clears throat> oh, no, 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 I saw that coming. I saw that coming, and it was not great. Don't you dare, you silly thing of water. I have no idea what insult I was going for then, but it was... If I would have thought of it right, you would have been done. Okay, I finished the thing. Uh, what was that? Ha! <laughs> I forgot I remember. I, I forgot I 
made that as a name so long ago as well. Young, thank you very much, buddy. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you. And again, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm going completely bonko. Right now. And I couldn't tell you why. I'm thinking of way too many things at once. And I did that as well back in... Honestly, again, I, I mentioned this earlier. The last time I streamed was back in May. And for the life of me, I could not tell you what I was doing back then. <laughs> um, all I know is that I definitely had some plans for some stuff. Um, that just never got off the ground just because of life and all that sort of fun stuff. If you've been around me, you know that I I really do value, like, mental health and well-being and all that sort of stuff. And... I think I got to a point where... I don't know, I got a little burnt out myself, so hopefully no one else is in that position. Hopefully you are looking after yourselves a lot. Um, because... Yeah, look, you've only got this, really, to, you know, you've only got this whole one thing. To... Also, I'm thirsty again, and my, because my ginger beer ran out, my invisible drink bottle with green cordial is up for grabs. It looks like it's just, I'm going to just disappear. <laughs> I love it. I don't know how, it was a pure coincidence that I got this drink bottle, and it just literally is just literally just, whoop, I am no longer here. I don't know. It's a fun quirk I found. Does he... Is the chatbot not working? Huh. Give me two seconds. I'm going to test it myself. It should be working. Maybe it's without the space. Nope. No, it does work. I think, hang on, let me test what this old thing works as well. Point. Nope. I don't know. I, I can't remember for the life of me. I just remember it was a thing. I had, I've had so many things in the past that just don't, hadn't made, like, they were fun at the time because of, like, the people who were there. <laughs> All good. Maybe the 8-Ball. Try, um, try the 8-Ball one. I remember I, I, I set up a few fun things with that. Uh, actually, these have got grass in them. I'll set these two up to petrify because that way I know I've got a constant supply of, um... I'll have a constant supply of of uh, stone resources coming in. Um, oh, I really want vein mining back. Yeah, I don't know why chatbot's not working then. All right. <clears throat> Another quick question. Um. How many of y'all know of a uh, board game called The Red Dragon Inn? I am a hell of a fan of that game. Um, just because, like, the bit, like, it gives you all those good, like, fun characters to really play, act around with, and then have fun with, so... It's, I don't know, it's brilliant. I love it. I love the format of it. It goes along the side like Snake Oil and a few of those other like improv games where what well, what you're doing itself isn't, I just kicked my subwoofer. Um, what you're doing itself is not exactly like groundbreaking or anything like that. The game itself is fairly simple, but the fact you can do so much stuff around it and it really turn it into like a presentation of sorts. Um, I don't know. I love, I love Red Dragon Inn. I will, I will go on about it. I will rave about that till... Uh, ends of the earth and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, if you heard of uh, Red Dragon, and let me know. 
I am planning. I've got some buddies lined up through my improv um, improv troop. <clears throat> I've got some buddies lined up who um, bone. That's what I was doing. I need to wash Ravil. Um, who are interested in? But yeah, they're interested in uh, in getting in front of camera. They're turning into to a whole thing. So it'll be good. It'll be good to like really get it in. If you've ever had like Red Dragon in, um, I'm personally a big fan of, um, and I have been since early days, but um, Achievement Hunter slash Let's Play and all that sort of stuff. This series Let's Roll has been the best, one of the best presentations on it. I hope I can get enough people to really like turn it into like a good presentation as well. But yeah, Red Dragon in. I own. They're on the Kickstarter number nine. Um, they've most of the sets have minimum of four characters. Plus, they've released a whole bunch of side characters as well. And there's this company that's not related to the guys who made the game, but um, made some metal coins for it. In fact, I might even go get them. Like, because. I don't know, it's a lot of investment for this one game. I love this freaking game. <laughs> I've got this whole thing, whole suitcase, just for this. Uh, most people like prize possessions would be like, I don't know, in, 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 Red Dragon, no, Red Dragon Inn, like a pub or a bar or something like that. Here it is. Ugh. I'd, I'd like to think I have over 50% of their stuff. Suitcase <laughs> oh, wow. just went smack on me. Ugh. Anyway, this entire box. If the answer was an ad. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a thing. The Red Dragon Inn. This game is phenomenal for play acting. If you want a drinking game, this one suits for everything as well. <laughs> um, and I'm enough of a fan where I've had to... Uh, let me get this open just for a second. I've gone ahead and ordered... These uh, custom coins made, um, it's probably reverse. Um, comes with a like, nice little bag, and it actually has these really nice, really nice, I'm going to put it in the microphone so you can hear the clinking and stuff. Comes with, um... This company makes custom metal coins for this game, and to be able to sit there at a table and just... It is so satisfying when you're sitting there. Especially if you're playing, like, some of the characters specialize in, like, gambling um, in the game. And hopefully one of the sets I'm getting in the future has the um, advanced version of gambling as well. But again, nothing just compares to just sitting there with your coin, just going. <laughs> I just lost a couple under my table. And one under my cushion? Hang on, I gotta die for this one. Uh. Well, the Streamlabs bot is working to a certain extent. But yeah, if you ever want a nice board game, easy to learn, not too difficult, I will always, always highly recommend the Red Dragon Inn. If you live in Australia, um, especially if you live in like Victoria at all, um, there are a couple of really good retailers that do stock it. Um, 
So it's pretty pretty nice to come across. The metal coins, like I said, they're not default part of it. Um, a separate company that actually operates in Australia, oddly enough, I found out, um, makes these coins. But they um, they do ship to the world. Um, but yeah, if you ever want a good fun night of advent, what happens after the adventure and um, a night of roughhousing, gambling, and drinking, go on down to the Red Dragon Inn. What am I holding? Bone sapling. Okay, good. Also, these will be automated soon. We'll hit the Iron Age. I'm hitting caps lock, not shift. Oh, also with the bones, I can get, start to get the flowers and stuff now. With the flowers, I can get the market. With the market, I can get um, cows and pigs. The cows and pigs that will give me access to... Um, um, other stuff. <laughs> I just bought the torch. Yes, I did. I'll put the torch down somewhere else, actually. I'll just put it down like here or something. Still lights up the place. Alright. Let's get to getting our bone on. That came out entirely wrong. Chop, 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 chop. Uh, I mean, considering you still just twerk to make these trees. <laughs> I mean, you, if you, you've seen Sky Factory Former, right? Where you just... Blah, 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 blah. This is what happens. I can't see a dang thing because I'm stuck in here. Is this? Yeah, they're all grown. All right, up we go again. How many? I'm also curious here at this point. How many people have actually like finished Sky Factory Four? I can't count the amount of times that I've started, and just never quite got around to like completing all the pages. And this is whether it is in prestige or in normal mode. I mean, this stupid amount of stuff you can do in this thing is ridiculous. And I'm just, uh, I just realized the background, I just had the soft jazz bit going. I was hoping a bit more like peppy jazz, but this is like soft jazz. Alright, um, I'm gonna need more cobble. So let's see if I've got enough resources for that. Right here. Good, because this is going to need a repair. And I need to visit the tinker table for a second as well. Because this is getting a bit funny. Alright, um... <clears throat> Next up on the agenda... I'm really filling up on stuff. Um, get in there. I don't need the dirt anymore, but I am going to hold on to this bit of dirt. I get the feeling I'm going to need some gravel as we go. And clay. But we might be close to retiring the petrified. I'm just going to stuck all the trees and stuff in here for now. Keep my tools on me. Bone meal. Oh, that's the market. A 
I got wheat. Yes, got the yellows. These are going to come in handy for getting gold, I believe. We'll stash them for later. Pumpkin. Normal seeds are going to come in handy as well. Alright. Um, back to our achievement list. Oh, I need to cook an acorn. And there's no better acorn than a dirt acorn? I guess not. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Not I don't last long in void worlds. Right, that was a couple minutes ago, I'm a bit slow. <laughs> well, I don't know. Sky Factory. Sky Factory 4. The thing I love about this one here is even if you are in a void world, it's really just. Whoop! Oops. I have no idea where I'm aiming. Hang on. Whee! It ain't nothing. You don't die from impacts, you survive with half a heart. <laughs> well, another reason why I like Sky Factory 4. <laughs> Your resources, the gubs don't survive, but um, you'll, if you're at full health, you'll survive. All right, eat the numbs. Got the hearts. I was aiming for cottonwood. Because I need a jungle sapling. How did I get the jungle sapling? Again, it was... Hang on. Cottonwood. Jungle. Washing a clay in mud. One, two, three. Clay. There's a reason why I kept the dirt on me. Fuck it. Mud. One, two, three, and floosh. And because it's always good to keep a good supply of dirt on you. These three will turn into twelve. This jungle sapling. Thank you. Two, three. Let's see if we can double our uh, double Quinn. Hang on, septuple, oct no octuple. We have octupled. Septupled our return on this tree. Now let's dig. Dig? Mine? What's the word for trees? Alright. Um, There we go. I'm gonna need another set of shears, aren't I? I don't have enough for the shears. This one is hella big. <laughs> Up we go. In fact, you know what? Just I'll start shearing from the other sides. Can't reach. That's fine. Broken. That's right. I needed to trade vines for something as well through the trader. Get them all. Right, up we go. Nope. 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 Wait. 
cross, wait. It's, it's, when it looks like you're not even there. Okay, good. We're up, crouch. Um, arborizing. What? I just realized that feed itself looks extremely dark even compared to my screen. Do I need to find a way to up the brightness a little bit on the actual on the actual thing? Hang on. I'm gonna find a way to up the brightness a little bit. Whoa, way too much. Really, you can't really see too much of what I'm seeing. It's got a bit of a film on it now. It's way too bright, actually. Turn down the brightness maybe to like 0.5. Up the gamma. Too much. Maybe the contrast itself. Just so you can see the colors a little bit better. This actually is quite a good thing. That's probably a bit more balanced to what I'm actually seeing. I don't know. I I get really perfectionistic in certain things sometimes, so don't mind if I end up in like tweaking stuff in certain moments. Like, the volume and stuff. I've had to customize the volume a little bit for my mic and everything like that. I'm not even using my wireless mics, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, that looks like what I'm seeing a lot better. Hopefully you guys in, uh, approve of the visual of the fidelity upgrade. Because it would annoy the heck out of me if I, if I couldn't see what I'm, like, what people are looking at. <laughs> Man, this is a massive tree. Didn't spawn any cocoa beans though, which would have been nice. Huh, let me up. Is this the top? I dare say this is the top. I don't really need any more jungle saplings. Maybe for like some of the stuff. I just need to make sure there's no wood up here so this thing disintegrates properly. Oof. Like this. Oh, we're good on that angle. Careful, we'll do this layer by layer. Here's a real bogan accent for ya. Ooh, what is that? Are those king? Are oh, the grapes? The grapes of wrath. Whoa! <laughs> Are we down far enough? Yeah, this is the solid trunk bit. Just double check that there's nothing in here. No, we're pretty good. Just this bit. Alright, now I can just single hand this one as we go down.
Bomb is like quarter past nine. How long have I been gone? I've been gone for close to two hours. I'd say probably about half an hour of that was just pure chat. <laughs> So if we really knuckle this one down and start like getting into the next bit, then I'm thinking, I'm thinking, we can pretty easily get into the Iron Age of, um, of doing stuff, which means resource generation is going to be, well, actually resource generation is not a big issue. The whole goal of this is to get the, um, Get the prestige point for ore excavation. Once we've got the prestige point for ore excavation, then it doesn't really matter what the rest of what we do here ends up being like, because we just start a new world, and that will be the world that I do a bit more continuity on, I think. Uh, jungle wood, get in. I need the jungle sapling. Mines and bones. What did I just drop? I uh, just dropped my tool. Alright. Um, we are up to Cottonwood. Um, this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Poop. Six more drying racks. Put a thing over here. Alright. There we go. Now with the cottonwood, this is where we start to get into some of the good stuff. Also. Cottonwood. This is going to allow us to pretty much get string and wool in multiple different ways. Whites don't... Oh, it's in the other hand. I was going to say... Move the petrified stuff out of the way. I haven't got the resin yet because I haven't chopped the other bit down. I got some string. I'll just chop down this first tree and then the second tree. The second tree, I'll. Oh, well, actually, no, the next two trees, I'll completely shave them down. Alright, let's see how we go with these next two trees. Cheer it! Alright, well, that's done. I knew the shears wouldn't last that long. But now I've got a bunch of the cottonwood leaves. If we put them up on the dryers, they turn into string. And with string, it gets wool. And with wool, gets us stuff. Like the... I want to say the market. What's playing on? Savoy Manouche. This is the kind of jazz I get behind. That's mine. Mine. Because, hang on. I can just straight up use it to make paper. Or use the cottonwood amber. The cottonwood amber. I, I turn that into wool. 
but there's no point because the leaves are much more valuable when it comes to cotton. Exhibit A. Alright, um... Might as well smush these down already. Because... Uh, bucket. Turn this one... into four. Oh, Night Boogie. You know what this may reminds me of? Did anyone ever play, um, uh, again, show, maybe a little bit of age, but Donkey Kong Country 3 specifically. I know 2 gets all the praise, 1's recognized for being, like, phenomenal for its kind, but 3 was probably the one, oddly enough, that I played the most. And within three, you've got these, um, you've got these trader bears that you have to like tr do, to do like swap quests on, fetch quests with. Um, and every time you go to visit them, they are all got this like honky tonk, old western saloon style um, jazz music going in them. And um, I don't know, I always vibe with that sort of thing. It always is just like such an upbeat tempo and everything like that. My hand is bumping around, I don't even mean to. Whoop! Whoa! Nearly walked off the edge. Um... Market! That's what I'm after. Um... Where should, where should we put our market fella? Of, like there's always never like a good spot. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a moment to build. Only because I kind of want where I want to put it. I kind of want like a little bit of a. He may be a fictional NPC dude, but still. Who do we get? Who did we get? Slapchop guy. That elephanting last time. Names are entirely random and I never quite get them. Um, right, if I remember correctly, we need to start with... We need to start with... I need cactus at some point. Ooh, I can get the cactus straight away. That was the thing that required the vines. I wanted two cactus, specifically. But any of these things that I need to, they cost emeralds? Okay. Corn costs wheat. So I would have to, I have a need to start farming. All right, so we got that going. Let's just get the rest of our cottonwood uh, stuff going. Because this, the amount of string that we've got at the moment should be enough to get us through to the rest of... Um, does this still have, still have red in it? You still have red in it, yes, good. Because now I can make the achievement of do 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 traditional bed. I'm gonna put the bed next to you. All right, we got the achievement nap time. I don't know why I'm waiting for it to go to daytime. <laughs> bed made. 
cooked. Oh, it has to be a cooked dirt acorn. Fine. Oh, I got hiccups. I got hiccups bad. Alrighty. Now, I am in a position lately, and I'm wondering if anyone would be, intri be um, intrigued by if I had a regularly scheduled night. But I have wanted to get, like, a server going, like a private server going for, like, followers and all that sort of stuff. Would that be something that anyone is genuinely interested in, or is it more just watching to chill? Genuinely curious. That should be enough for our string supply for now. Um, I've got my cactus. I feel like I need to cook the cactus at some stage. No, 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 no. I need a cow. In order to make the cow, I need to get wheat. We can get a start on the wheat for new. That's not a who. That's not a who. This is a who. Alright. We can get a start on the wheat there from that. Um, but yeah, if anyone would be intrigued by having like a regularly scheduled night where there would be like if you had the inside to, like knowledge of it, um, just to come along to chill, to have a fun little like build sesh, that sort of thing, just time to like get in and, and all that sort of stuff, or even just like an open server, just to sort of come and like surprise me or something like that. I don't know. I'm I'm wondering if anyone would be intrigued by that side of things. There we go. I had to roast the dirt acorn. Of all things, it was a dirt one. Alright. Next achievement. I haven't got a sand one yet? Why don't I have a sand one? Oh, that's right. I had to crush gravel. Do I have enough gravel? Cottonwood. Petrified. Bone. Play gravel. Clearly not. Mm. I'm doing the thing where I think really hard for no reason. <laughs> well, it's not for no reason. It's just my brain can't seem to... I know I'm getting to the time of night where my brain's gonna like start going on shutdown mode while I'm st while I'm trying to just like continue doing what I'm doing. Grape seeds, the cactus I can save for later because that's gonna be for like the squish, the slime stuff. So that's gonna be a whole thing. Wrong button. I should just do this. Gravel. Clearly not enough. Okay. The wheat's going, which once I get into the Iron Age, I'll be able to make a watering can and that'll just take off from there. I specifically need acorns, so this will be the fastest way to get the acorns rather than wait for the disintegration. Disintegration! 
You know those like some English words are just have some inherent value to it. Like some words are just naturally like fun and quirky and you know to say. Um, I saw this out of a Garfield comic once, but the whole it's like yeah, some some words are fun to say, like bubble and chicken. Pumpkin. There's a whole thing about having kumquat sandwiches for lunch. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It shows my age a little bit, but at the same time, I was surrounded by like a lot of old stuff growing up. Like, I really grew up on like... Um... Like, I'm talking about the really like old produced in like the late 80s, early 90s, Mr. Bean. Like, early Rowan Atkinson. Um, along, the, along the same vein of thought, the whole Blackadder series. I was raised on the British comedy. Monty Python. I loved all that sort of stuff. Um, where was I going with this point? I have no idea. The, I don't know. The old style comedy. The old style sort of Oh yeah, comics and stuff like that. I remember in Australia, we had a, a comic called Foot Rock Flats. And I had a book of that, which I read so many times as a kid. It was good quality stuff. It was like the dog was the main character. And talking about how like, Aussie, Bogan, Drongo. Um, like, especially like 70s, 80s Australians could really be in some, in, in as far as the stereotype would take us. Um, do I have enough? I've got enough. They're petrified. Here we go. We're up to sand. It's such a wet sound. I'm missing petrified. Also, I'm not sitting straight as well. I don't know. If you have a, like, a value for the old... Like, old content. I'm interested to hear, like, where from. Where the fruity matuti is my <laughs> petrified? There. Alright, we're up to sand. Yeah. I should start just crafting at this table. I don't know why I keep like circling around other ones. craft here because it's got access to all the bloody things. Also, my stone crook is starting to lack. Alright, we're up to sand. After sand. I think after sand comes coal. After coal comes iron. And when we get iron... Actually, I just had a thought. One of the things I'm going to need a lot of early on now... Where's my clay? I cooked all the bloody clay, didn't I? Yes, I did. Um, I'm gonna need a lot of sand. I'm gonna need at least, like, I don't know, a bunch of glass. Ah.
Got one seed. Enough for one. That's right, this multiplies quickly. Alright, let's see how this bit goes here. Uh, sorry, I didn't even... Oh, it's only been a minute ago. Hey, uh, fun fact, Philippines is one of the longest Christmas seasons because it starts on September 1st. Really? Hell yeah! Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. No, I have, to, I have to question that just quickly. I really have to question that. Just... Technically, technically, if you really want to get pedantics about it, ever in the world the Christmas season starts in September. <laughs> For Americans, I don't know, like, this sort of thing, like... I'm of the opinion with the whole Thanksgiving season that America has, I know we don't have anything like that here in Australia, but they honestly have this whole celebratory thing going through November, right through December. One of my favorite songs, if you know a group, an a cappella group, uh, well, they're not always a cappella group, most of the time, yeah. um, a group called Straight No Chaser. They have a song. Uh, they have multiple Christmas songs, and they mock the fact, openly, that Christmas seems to start sooner every single year, no matter what you do. In fact, I don't know, I have people I know who probably would have already started their, uh, Christmas shopping 18 months in advance. <laughs> so... You can say Christmas starts in September. <laughs> and okay, for, for 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 a cultural sort of thing, yes, I can res I can understand or respect or anything like that. But anywhere in the world you go, I reckon there's always some sort of like a Christmas thing going. I know uh I don't know when it started, but there's the whole Christmas in July thing. Um I mean, that became a real big thing here in Australia to a certain extent. Um, and I know, because within my own family group a certain way, um, there was an uncle who was born in July. And they started just doing, like, a Christmas in, Ju in July. <laughs> September, October, November, and December because it's the Burr months. <laughs> I would say Burr because it's cold, but no, I know... Philippines, you'd be a heck of a lot more tropical than the rest of us. <laughs> uh. This is getting into that whole realm of, of, not argument, but debate of like, well, Christmas is for any time of the year. Come on. Double finger. I'm double shifting. No, no matter which way you say it, that sounds horrible. No matter which way you say it. Uh. But yeah, going back to my old question, old, like, classic, I don't know, the British have, have a lot of, we have peaking, hang on, because we have a peaking individual that brings us Christmas vibes. You tell me more, AR. The one and only Josie, Jose, Marie-Jo. Ah. <laughs> uh, I feel like it rings a bell. I honestly do from like when I would go to my family for like ho uh, school holidays and stuff. But yeah, I, for the life of me, don't recognize. Dang it, I just uprooted that tree, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Alright, cobble, give me more cobble. I need that extra cobble to repair my crook. At the very least, I can roll my arrows. Some 
languages or countries in the world, you really need to roll your R's. Roll your R's to really get understood where you're going. And if you can't roll your R's, then... What are you doing? How are you expecting to get by? He sings whenever I see a see girl and boys selling lanterns on the street. I mean, I'm finding this interesting, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna need at least two sand, and the rest I can cook into glass. The two sand I just want to cook, I uh, just want to make into snad. Cause I'm gonna need sugar cane at some point. Snad. Then the dirt I'll keep on hand, because then I can just get a bunch more leaves, and I've got four leaves here actually, so. Mud. Alright, so that's growing along nicely there. The wheat's taking forever. Do I have still my bone meal on me? What was I needing? I'm needing clay. Um... These aren't really useful till you get to the Iron Age and they automate. So, I don't know. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Going off AR's comment, are there any other, like, weird... Well, not weird, but, like, cultural Christmas traditions or holiday traditions that anyone has? That, like... Again, I'm an Australian. We've got our ways. Um... And again, I'm just naturally curious as to the, like, how everyone else does things. So, I don't know. Has anyone got any sort of, like, holiday festival, like, festivity, holiday, universal sort of thing, or? No, oh, chatbot's doing its thing. Yep, this noodles, they have gone stone cold. That's okay. I just need a bit of a top up. All right. Um. Next, what am I doing? Tin and coal. Tin coal. I need the melter. I need a bunch of other stuff as well. Um. How did I do coal again? I needed to cook a birch sapling. The birch sapling I get by washing a sand sapling in water. Do I have sand? Oh, I've got plenty of sand saplings. Might as well get a bunch of them. Um, cook. No, that was a sand. Cook. Coal will open up things a little bit on the... There we go. Oop, let's go chop these. Oop, oop. Coal's sort of like the gateway to the Iron Age a little bit. Grow, you stinking tree. There we go. Yeah, 
There we go, there we go. Get to chopping! So much of early Sky Factory 4 is just the chopping! Hang on, I keep mixing up Chopin and Beethoven. And... Vivaldi. Vivaldi's Four Seasons, I know that much. Easily a famous piece. Quite nice. Um... Particularly fond of the Four Seasons, especially summer and winter. Um... Beethoven was very symphonic. Really sucked at naming his pieces, though. Don't get me started on Bach. Although his were very... Organic? I know it's not the word I'm after, but he did use a lot of organ. I know a lot of, like, pieces that are traditionally very... ...pipe organ based and everything were based off box works. I don't know why I'm going on about, tra like, traditional... ...or not traditional, classical music. Why am I going on about classical music all of a sudden? I have no idea. If you've been floating around long enough here, <laughs> you know that I will go in completely random directions at any given point. <clears throat> What's my one want to dunk Diet Coke soon as well? <coughs> I nearly choked on that one. I might need to like raise my camera up just a little and point it down. Now that I'm at it. But anyway. What was I looking for? Coal. I need to grow the coal. I need to make clay. Need to make a metric ton of clay. <coughs> this is not a metric ton of clay. I don't need no hoe no more. I need the clay. Thank you. Does that mean I can make another clay? Another clay. Where did my bone meal go? Is 12 going to be enough? It's a good chunk. But that'll get me more porcelain bricks. So the porcelain bricks will get me to build the next bit. Which will allow me to start getting some metals really going. So that's good. I fear I just used up all my stuff though. I mean, if you look at the achievements though, we are more or less halfway done. We can forget about tin until we like get to the end. But we're getting into like the tricky parts here. And then just the pig in a uh the wheat's gonna count for that as well, actually. But I've got the two buckets. I just need to get some iron to make lava. And then once we get that, the rest of it actually goes by pretty quick if you know how to get the resources for it. I can stop bopping the button. I can stop twerking! I don't know, I've played a few other mods. I did the, um... I did the... Um... Sevtech pack. But the Skyblock version of that, which was incredibly difficult. Because... Unlike standard SevTech, you've just got like land coverage and you can roam wherever you need to, find biomes and everything. Uh, when it's all in the sky, 
You need to learn how to unlock flight real easy, and the early flight options suck. A, they run out so fast. B, um, they've got horrible control. But you kind of need to do it in order to actually get access to some of the other stuff. Like, to... Like, keep building. And the starting islands that randomly generate are not exactly hospitable. I mean, I guess the whole point. It's supposed to be like a difficult but progression sort of thing. So I get that's the thing with um, with the Sevtech packs, but... Um, be the quests. Hello there, I am your local Sky Factory nerd. What is up? <laughs> the ceiling! Just kidding. Uh, um, no, welcome. Welcome, B. Um... Yeah, doing Sky Factory 4. Just uh, here for a chill time. Um, I got a new computer. Just uh, re-explaining this bit, but uh, again, yeah, got a new computer. Um, decided, hey, you know what? I want to restart Sky Factory again. Didn't copy across any of my old files, so I'm doing Prestige mode. I am unlocking Prestige points. Just uh, and yeah, just having fun with um, with doing all this sort of stuff. Uh, I've got the glass. If I remember correctly. There's the melter. There's the faucet. There's the table. I won't be able to melt until I get lava properly. Because the heater is useless. It only can cook certain things up to a certain temperature, and those things it can cook are really useless. Like molten clay. It was like... What was it? Melter. 200 degrees, yeah. 200 degrees is the most you get. Anything that's useful after that point... Yeah, there's... Clay wool. Bacon. Yeah, it's pretty much clay. Well, this is all clay, because I clicked on clay. I'm melting down clay, but... Yeah, anything that can melt down with, like... Yeah. You can see here, like, it... Yeah, it's useless. So I need to get, like, an actual lava setup going with it, so... In my bag of Red Dragon in coin. Um, but I've got the setup here ready to go, so that's always... Um, always going to be beneficial. I don't know why I set it like that. That's an instrument I haven't heard for a long time, the harmonica. I'm digging it. I remember. And again, story time here. Um, and he's still around, I just haven't seen much of his stuff lately. This is easily going back. Maybe like a decade or so, actually. There was this Japanese fella in Melbourne, um, in Melbourne City. Melbourne City's got a fairly, like, good strip of, like, shops and... Um, outdoor areas where you get buskers quite quite often, um, and uh, his thing was very much jazz slash blues with the full. Uh, I don't know what you call it. It was a sit down guitar style, like string instrument, but you don't stand up with it. And most of the strumming was done like with it sitting flat across his lap, but. Man, the like, even though it was like Japanese style with like what he was doing, the jams that dude came out with were just absolutely like off. They were phenomenal. Um, I'm trying to remember what his name was. George something. I'm thinking Kamikawa, but that's that's probably more Hawaiian than something else. Um, I'm, I know it's close. It sounds close. Um, aren't you so glad I didn't say banana? No. 
All right, well, that's ready to go when I've got metal going. Before I can even get to that stage, though, I need lava, which means I need at least seven iron ore. Um, that can keep cooking for now. Uh, what am I up to here? Making the iron ember. Missing coal, gravel, sand, clay. Let's just pull out our resin out here. Bone. Can I make it yet? Oh, I haven't started production of... I haven't started production on the coal! Alright boys, we're going down in the mines! I wonder with all the like new Minecraft versions, I, I don't know, mod packs have really not been a thing, as far as I know, a lot lately. And yes, they still make like new packs and everything. Ooh, wow, I can make a lot. Or else I just probably cut down on a bunch of stuff, but I need the cobble. Need at least put six aside. That and a piece of glass and my two buckets, which shut up and notifications. I don't need you. I'm gonna cook this one more brick actually. Ugh. Um I'm trying to rewrite what I was just saying in my head. something I was just thinking and I can't remember what it was. I have no idea. It'll come back to me eventually. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm maybe going to you take two or three minutes just to quickly pop off to the loo, grab a drink, stretch your legs a little bit. I've gone for about two and a half hours doing this. Um, while I am taking a quick but okay, let's take a look here. What have I got running? I did that one as well. If I manual... Oh, it looks like an ad just ran. Well, there's a 90 second ad thing coming up. If I quickly go on to just intermission, I'll take like just two, three minutes just to quickly take a break. I will go blue downstairs. I'll come back up, grab a day cook, jump back on. We'll get the coal running. We'll get some iron running. We will get into the, into the next age. And, um, then we'll keep going. Like I said, I expect two and a half hours. I expect maybe another 90 minutes. We'll be done with this. We'll get the prestige point. And I might regenerate a new world from there, maybe? Um, because anything that I want... Let me go back here. 
With the pristine, hang on. There we go. Much easier to see. Um, Zen Garden unlocked one prestige point. This is zero just to fill all the like the permanent buffs you can get. We'll go around. The Mega Torch is one, but not worth it early days. I love the idea of the jetpacks. Project E will take forever. Flux would be okay. The full Tinker's Construct Smeltery costs two. So I can't even get the Smeltery until I get that. The Portal Gun would be useless. Slime Dirt, useless. Androids, useless. The Fast Forward is good if you just keep regenerating wealth. 50 for the Mystical Agriculture, but it's useless in this world, I find. Mob Grinding Utilities could be useful to get after the thing. Parabox version 2, Mystical Connection. But yeah, Ore Excavator is definitely the second one. And then the question after that is, what I what do I get with the prestige points after that that's going to be efficient? Portal? No. I feel like this is one. The Tinker's Smeltery is just too good in a lot of ways. But it doesn't exactly unlock a lot of things for me. I mean, if I plan it right, I don't really need that. This is useful... Um... Just when you generate a new world. This one's useful for a certain amount of stuff. The f soil's probably a good one, but that's a whole thing. It's 70 to get the full mystical agriculture. And Project E is a whole thing. <laughs> so, I don't know. We're getting ore excavation, and then probably tinkers, and then probably the fast forward. And then, I don't know, we'll open it up from there. Because we, whatever we do with the power box, we can just see about unlocking everything as we go. And then, I don't know, we'll figure it out from there. Um, but yeah, I'll take a two minute break. Or give or take. And um, we will come back from there. I'm just going to put it on the intermission page and I shall return. Jeez. I forgot I had the intermission music. <laughs> that got loud real quick.
and now back for something completely different. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, all right. Those thunderstorms are not quite ominous enough to break my spirits. We shall continue forwards. In the name of discovery. I mean, I am unfit, but not horribly so. Not exactly a gym junkie or anything like that, but I do like try to keep myself to a like certain stage, stay like certain level of average capability. Why is it always just the short trip up and down the stairs? Is always the worst. I'm always like, <gasps> and, you know, I do have a weird staircase to get up and down where I am at because it's um it's sort of like a weird like square shape because you gotta go sideways then you go straight then you go sideways again and you go up a bit. So I can function after going up the stairs, but I'm always like a bit... <gasps> How did that happen? Also, where's the brick? I can extend out the bonsai pots just one more. Alright, take it easy. Jeez, Zeus. You gonna bring it down a couple of pegs, buddy? Missing the sand resin! There's bone resin. Petrified clay, 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 clay. I'm always short something, ain't I? In fact, this needs to get repaired as well. It's a constant, never ending cycle of repairs. I'll waste the thing for now. I really waste though. It's all pretty useful stuff eventually. Ooh, 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 ooh. Another achievement. Collateral damage! And now that the rain ended, we can go back to jazz. <laughs> oh, it was just while I was in the menu. Bro trees, bro! Switch hands! Ah, Diet Coke. You can't sell me on the fact that Coke no sugar or Coke Zero or whatever those crap things taste any better. Diet Coke is the best tasting Coke. And I will fight you. I won't win, but I'll fight you. If it's just resin that I need, actually. Alright, I get it. Thunderstorm. Chill. What's up your butthole, Zeus? Now can I iron?
Amber is the color of my dinosaur. We'll just cook the seven because that's all we need to make a cauldron. Once we've got a cauldron, then lads, we enter the metal age. All right, also, what do we need for an iron sapling? I need to pour it onto an acacia sapling. To get an acacia sapling, I need to get apple sapling. I'm changing accents on the fly here. Get apple sapling. Crush an apple to apple seeds. Don't have an apple, so I get the apple seeds. How on earth did I get it last time? Must I just get an oak? Was it just an oak tree last time? Hang on. Just a standard oak sap. Washed dirt. That's why we needed the dirt. Stand the tree. Come on, Apple. Just a standard oak or apple. More important than the cobblestone stuff is the generator. Which I can do almost instantaneously. Bam. That still leaves me with a bucket for water, which is good. All right, instant progress. Very nice. All right, so the next thing here is I will need a. Is it a crate? 
Yes. That one. I am lazy boy. Alright, next. I'm gonna lose this bucket, but it's gonna give me access to metal. Back to Acacia. Right. I forgot the market's a thing. I don't have any gravel on me, do I? No, I don't. I used all my gravel. Cotton bone? Oh. All right. Eight is enough. All right. We're making Slow but steady progress. It's not the emerald. A beetroot for that matter. Eat wheat for some corn. Why have I not got an apple so far? Full up on stuff. I must be tired because I <laughs> I just realized I'm getting in the full like intense concentration mode right now. Um What time is it? It's 1020 my local time, so I don't know. As far as an entertaining conversationalist, I shall be merry the type for the next little bit. Coming in fits and starts, you see. Time for hoedown! I just do like I mean, just punch the what's the easiest way to get apples here again I wonder. is it literally just maybe just punch the trees with like a normal thing I'm gonna like try and punch the trees normal Alright, so I don't need to keep twerking the tree. Let's see if the normal leaves give us a... Whoa! That was loud. Bushwhack! Yo! Thank you, buddy! I've really got to change that name from the old... Uh, the old uh, Streamlabs bot. But, uh, thanks! Thanks for coming in! Thanks for checking things out! I appreciate you. What brings you in? Uh, 
Come on, Schnapples! To watch. <laughs> it is watching someone just having a very chill time while they're like, I'm bored, so yeah. <laughs> Boredom is the gateway to creativity. And all the other dadisms that I'll spout out at random times. Come on, ye havens! Present me apples! Is it so much to ask that you'd not give me an apple? When does Trader Boy give me an apple? I feel like there's something else that gives me an apple. Something that I've overlooked. I just literally need apple seeds, and I can't remember how I got them in my last run to get the prestige point. Do you have apple? You got dead animals. Fleurs. Standard stuff. You do, but they cost beetroot. So I could do it that way, but I know, I know, 1,010% that I got an apple from something last time. This is a mod, yes, this is Sky Factory 4. So, um, if you're interested, it is available on the, uh, Curse Forge launcher. Um, easiest way to get it. Um, Beetroot, beetroot. <laughs> Rubik's. Alright, Rubik's again. We'll see if I can beat the 91 second one I got last time. Uh, hang on. I'll put my pen back in my phone. Stopwatch. So, minute 32. 90, 92 seconds I got last time. Alright, scramble it up. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get, lads and lasses, and all in between. I'm gonna move the microphone for a second. All right. Uh, now again, not a speed cuber by any ch any stretch of the imagination. So we'll see how it goes. I'll count just a quick, brief look at it as part of the time, but also the green is getting filtered out entirely. <laughs> Those the green parts are just gone. <laughs> I just noticed that. All right, three, two, one, stop. All righty, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Right. Orange, green, blue. That was a good frost to begin with. Red straight there, good. All righty, we've got uh, green and orange. And blue, eh? Here we go, and blue. Wow, this is actually coming together quite nicely, actually. The top actually got filled the down in there to me earlier, see. And the sides are popping in nicely. Let's, they're falling right into place nicely, actually. This is making a very good time for me. Um, the last one's over there. There. Because I can do that. And then I went to blue. And then doop, 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 and doop, and a doop. Um, this is the one that screws me over when you get to the bottom. Uh, does not like me at all. Now this is what's eating up my time. Now I can actually do this. Now that gives me that, which means I can do this. Which means that even so I can do this. Double. Okay, we're looking like that, are we? And boop, boop, boop. Done. Quite literally exactly what I got last time. <laughs> minute 32.30. Actually, no. Point 0.2. I got minute 32.32 last time. Um...
Thanks for uh, thanks for the redeem there. Sorry, bushwhack. <laughs> Had a complete just drop of mental faculties. Uh, what was I looking at? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Apple. I don't want to farm beetroot, but I might have to. This did not give me difficulty on my last run, so why is it giving me difficulty now? Where's my sugar cane? Can't make an apple tree unless I've got an apple seed. Maybe I'll just try my luck with the oak one more time. Or maybe I'll just let natural disintegration take care of it. Green equals black on my Rubik's Cube. <laughs> yeah. Question is at this point, can I? So I need to get make a pair of shears again. Dang it! I dropped the axe. I dropped the axe. Pair of wooden shears. Natural disintegration gives me apples from this stuff. Why did I? Ah, right, I remember why. Crush the tub because I wanted. If I put in the leaf. Get sugar cane seed. Apple! Yes! I did not give up. None of you heard it. None of you bore witness to the fact that I said that it wasn't possible. Do I have a pool next to my tree? Um, I've got an infinite water source, if that counts. Uh, let's see here. Uh, break, break, break. Have a pool next to your tree, it does. Yeah, now I've got the little farm patch here and everything. Nope, oh, doesn't work. I remember I've got a bone to do to get the thing. Right. Um while I'm here. Oh, I hope I don't lose this. My inventory's full, so I'm probably going to lose it. Hang on, I need a dump. I need to dump everything out just for a second. Because these are going to be annoying to deal with. I don't know why I put them up here, to be honest. Without putting some sort of backup behind them. <laughs> Alright, so, let's back him up. 
Because if I try this again, it, I can only foresee it going horribly bad. Um, bonsai pots, which we'll be upgrading in the very near future. Grass. In fact, hang on, leaves. Need the leaves. I need my dirt, and I need my bucket, which got destroyed. Got enough to at least do these two. Mud. Some fresh uh, grass. Now. Resources I'm going to need a lot of. Can I play normal Minecraft? I mean, I can. I don't. <laughs> I love because... What I love about this sort of one is that eventually I can automate everything. I can automate um, the collection of resources. I can just do all this sort of stuff. So I can eventually get to like all the really big stuff like the... Um, Age of all the things, blah, 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 blah. You can make a double, uh, more schmore double schmingit. I can make all these, like, really, like, stupid things. Like, the singularities. Like, a cookie singularity. And a bacon singularity. Um. An octuple compressed a sugar cane block. For no other reason than just I can. Uh. Like super drive uh, generators, fission reactors, fusion reactors somewhere. All this stuff. Build a supercomputer to store all my stuff. Uh, <laughs> simple generator. Yeah. This is all just to get, what I've done so far is all just to get this first page. So, we'll see. Uh, right. What are the three big resources I really need? Not cotton. Clay? Definitely. Petrified's no longer a thing, so I can get by with the resource I got left. I feel like bone is definitely one resource I'm gonna, that is gonna come in handy. Um, we've got the bone. Growl going to be something? Not really. What about the ingots? Clay, oh, clay is definitely something. Clay, bone, and resin. Uh, clay, bone, and gravel. Could be worth putting in. Clay, sand, and gravel. I'll just do clay, sand, and gravel. Not bone. Bone's useful. Huh. Oh, the other chest. Clay? Sand. And gravel. Between those three, with them automatically growing in the bonsai pots, that should take. What about a particle accelerator? Um, I can make a rail gun at some point, I think. <laughs> a rail gun's definitely something. Oh, where do I put them? All right, you ask, they go on for the next few minutes. Ah, back on they go. They're not exactly balanced on my face too well, but 
We'll see. They do make it a little bit tricky to see. Look, a gravitational anomaly. I mean... <laughs> a gravitational stabilizer. Engraved thunder. I mean... Some of the stuff in this pack is ridiculous. And it's got bacon. Ooh, actually, I just thought of something. Uh, how do I make a chopping block again? Flint. I got flint. Done. What? Oh, it's a... Okay. I'll just put it here like this. And this one can go like... Uh, right. Waiting on the tree. And then waiting on the tree, we need... Might as well grow some more bone, actually. grow bones, we can just grow the, um, grow the plants pretty much straight away. Work in time! <laughs> I don't know about high level, dude, but... Oh, yeah, my back's actually a bit weird. I need that... I need that back exercise thing I've got under my bed, actually. Um, that forces you, like, especially if you use gravity to, like, weigh it down at the back. Um, that forces the, um, you know, like, really straighten things out. Especially if it's got, like, a super good arch on it. I will say, this is the first night I'm streaming with my new... Camera setup. And I must say, it is doing fairly well. Nice, nice crisp resolution. Between my new PC, which I got back in May, the new camera, which I got maybe like two months ago, to act it like this and to like record any external stuff. I'm curious, would anyone be interested in a series of, um, let's just say the, pr let's, the premise of the series is 30 days to learn a new skill purely off the internet. There we go. Do I have enough stuff to... Put my cobble down, didn't I? I don't have any cobble left. What am I talking about? Of course I got cobble left. Um but yeah, like not getting any external instruction, but teaching yourself like a skill within like well, as much as you can with a skill. Off, purely off, like, internet-based stuff. So I'm talking whether it's, like, a language, or if it's a, um... I guess one thing in particular I had in mind was, like, a, um... Learning a sword style. Would that be of injury interest? I'm going to take these off now. I've had them on for a couple of minutes. <laughs> oh, 
I've got long eyelashes for a dude. And so wearing any sort of like eyewear that doesn't, that presses up against your face, always makes it hard for me to see. Anyway. Um, hydrate? Well, I got Diet Coke, so there's that. And you're right, I could use a proper, I could use a proper stretch. Hang on. Hang on. No, I've got no cracks in my back. Water. Yeah. I know I need water. I it's gonna be invisible, but I've got my one liter um one liter thing which I drank before. Uh so and it's it is invisible because it's green. So I did drink this before. I finished off the bottle. Ow. I just cramped the my tricep for some reason. <laughs> yeah. What was I doing? Alright. Let's make some bones. That. I got apple chaplains. Alright. Snake it all the time, huh? So, if you've never played Snake Oil before, I'll let you know. What was I doing? Corn? I was trying to get bones so I could get the thing going, but okay, kind of redundant now. Alright. I need like a spinner for this actually, that would actually work a bit better. What you'll need to do is, you will give me a prompt. Once you give me, uh, sorry, a prompt as in a profession. Um, I'm trying to mind, I'm trying to brain two things at once here. Ugh. You'll give me a profession. Of some kind. Fire water. And then after that profession, um, I would require two random words to make a product. It works better with the cards, to be honest, but I don't know. Um, what was I thinking? I need the iron. Iron sapling. Which requires me to pour it onto an acacia. Acacia is just washing an apple sapling in water, that's right. And since we're raining... We're getting to the Iron Age! Iron Wood. Make a basin and another faucet. This way, I can just pop the faucet there in front. I can still view the porcelain tank if I want to top it up with things. Alright, we're up to here. I need to make a lapis and a redstone. Sapling, you can get the tin after. There's a bit of a recovery thing. Once I've got iron, I'll be able to start doing almost everything else. So. Uh. 
Let's take a look. I mean, I can work with fire water. Question is here, Bushwhack, do you have a profession? If those are your two words you're choosing... Me, Gil King... What? Lid King. I have no idea. Alright, here's the thing. Bushwhack! I'm going to... I'm going to go grab something. Ah, this is... Well, except for the snakes cut out because he's green. This is snake oil. Really good improvisation game. Oh, I was glitching. <laughs> glitching or having a stroke. I'm going to pull two random words out of here. I want you to just choose a profession and I'll see what I can uh, wrangle with the two words that I pull. I won't reveal what they are until after you've given me a profession. So a job title of some description. I'll reveal the two words and I'll see if I can take a minute to sell a product to, to based off the words a gamer okay a gamer um <laughs> this is going to be reversed i think is that is that reversed that's reversed so we've got a napkin word napkin and the word secret So, buddy, oh gamer, oh chum, you spend all your time enveloped into the deep, deep worlds and imaginations of those who created stories gone before ye. Uh, you understandably, you will spend a lot of time in these worlds. Um, eventually, at some stage, you will need to come up for air. Um, and you will need to eat, more importantly. And this is where it comes in, uh, this, this device will tuck in to the back of your controller or keyboard or implement of your choice, which will allow you to not only clean and glean your equipment after a nice hearty snack of your choice, whether that be buffalo wings, whether that be, you know, I don't know, tasty tubes here in Australia, I love those. Um, you will now have a device that will easily, easily come out from the back of said keyboard or controller and allow you to cleanse thine hands of any immaterial material. Thus allowing you to game on and pursue the, what is it? The ramekin of your choice. Oh, it's not ramekin. <laughs> the thing of your choice. Uh, uh, Thingy free. <laughs> I don't know. How did I do? <laughs> How did I so do selling you a secret napkin, a fellow gamer buddy? Um, that's bubbling. Fifty percent good. <laughs> If you've ever played Snake Oil properly, it's brilliant. It's weird, but cool and easy. I don't know. Uh, again, I just had to try and make something up off the words. I am a big fan, and I've been doing it for most of this year, of improv. And, um... If anyone's done improv before, you'll know that it's... It is not easy. <laughs> it looks easy in, some, in a lot of cases, but it's not always the easiest thing in the world to do. But at the same time, it doesn't necessarily, it's not, it's not easy, but at the same time, it's not difficult. 
Um, it has this weird blend of... Um, I don't know how you'd put it. It's a weird and delightful blend of just learning how to completely... Oh, that goes to kill me. Well, completely remove all of your social filters. Um, and learning how to... Uh, what's the way I would put it? Your normal human societally born instincts will... You need to learn how to completely remove those and commit completely to, like, the most absurd things. Um, and just basically... It's one of those things, like, if you've ever seen Jim Carrey's... Like, that movie that Jim Carrey did uh, called Yes Man. You almost need to learn how to, like, just do that and just say yes to everything. Um, and saying yes to things doesn't mean just... Um... Like, just blindly going, okay, yeah, no, that, that works, or, you know, oh, yeah, let's go along with that. It's acknowledging the situation and still having, like, your point of view or some or your like, way of doing things, and contributing to, like, that universe, that idea, that, like, the concept of it. Anyway, I love improv. Again, it's... It's a weird art form, but... I don't know, it served me well. Posture check, I saw her. I saw her. I'm just quickly main in the suit. Actually, hang on. It's about what is that? That's about number. It's not quite uh, S and M's area. Yeah, I've got this weird knot around. I think it's like an L. What's that? L five. Oh. It's one of those pits you can't just, it's a knot that you can't quite get yourself. If I unfollow, I get 300 more. I have no idea how that works. That's, that's, that's the Twitch point system. I have seriously no idea how that side of things works. So, I don't know. I think with the Twitch points, they, I think on average it gives like about like 120 or so an hour, so I don't know. gonna mark off if they're a bit if the things are a bit high let me know I could use the feedback and I can like honestly check in and like see how things pan out there um where are we actually three and a half hours if we're in the iron age at the moment we literally are not that far off the rest of it I could probably make a bit of a better time than I did last time to get to the diamond bit get this and then we will need to start the new world again. But we'll have ore excavation and bonsai pots unlocked, which means we can literally farm our way through tree trees like nothing, no one's business. And then the rest of it, we'll just have to sort of see how we unlock as we go. But I think the third world attempt with prestige enabled will allow us to get like what we need to like really get going in Sky Factory 4. Bushwhack, you did say you're a Sky Factory fella. Yeah, it didn't work. You play one block? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I've played it in the past, actually. I'm, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Um, mod packs I've played. This is a good one, and I'm curious to see if there's, like, what other mod packs everyone else has sort of done in the past as well. I'm very much, um... <laughs> spamming those. I'm very much... 
I like the sky block. Well, not even just the sky block. Um, because I remember I did like a very basic sky block back, like when I first started playing with mod packs. Um, so it's not just the sky block sort of side of things. Sky Factory three and four. Um, despite the fact they're sort of sequential from each other. Pan, buddy! 17. Holy heck, has it been that long? Dude! <laughs> Just checking in because I was doing my assignments, I'm back. Yeah, I, um... Seriously, 17 months, dude. Uh, many people? Oh, well. Had a... The people who are still hanging around, obviously, uh, they came from someone who um, enjoys Minecraft mod packs, I guess, uh, Skyblock. Um, I guess they're just hanging around, just having a bit of a chill time. Um, sorry, what was I saying for Bushwhack there? Um, I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> Um, but yeah, mod packs. Uh, sorry, Apan, I'll get back to you in just a sec, buddy. Um, the first mod pack I really tried was definitely a Skyblock style pack. Um, here's where I left my cobble from before, actually. It was like one of the very first... Um, are you going to do the things I made you do with the curios? Hang on two secs. Again, I am very much a one thing at a time, cannot multitask sort of person, and I will openly admit that to the end of my days. But when I do one thing, I do it very well. <laughs> um, I'll just clear all those. Yeah, right. I, need to, I do need to stretch my back a little bit. I might top up my drink bowl in just a second, but for now, the hydrate's going to have to count for a diet code. I will top up my drink bottle in a sec. Um, hang on. I'm going to stand up and have the stretch, so I'm going to step away from the microphone for about 20 seconds. Oh. <sighs> Make sure I'm sitting up nice and straight with the posture check, so thank you very much. All right, thanks for that, Bushwhack. Um, where was I? Mod packs, that's right. So, mod packs. Um, I know I started with a Skyblock one. I got curious with one of the old spacecraft style mod packs where you could like you could get off the planet go to space but i didn't get very far with it and then i had a bit of a break from them and then thanks to some youtube content that i saw i started with sky factory 3 and fell in love with the whole half bit half because it's got the automation aspect of it and half because of just the sheer volume of stuff that was included with it um Luke. <laughs> Having a bit of trouble with the typing again. <laughs> yeah, I really need to go through like a lot of these a lot of these um prompts. Like I said, this is the first time I've streamed since May. And then even before then. Um Even before then, I um It's been a weird last 12 to 18 months for me. In terms of what I've wanted to do here on Twitch and everything like that. All the stuff that I've maybe like wanted to achieve and everything. I haven't quite got there with most of it. Which is unfortunate. Um, 
yeah, we've been going for a while, actually. Um, so while I haven't quite got as far as like I wanted to with a lot of different stuff, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just been a bit of a been a bit of a weird time, and I think a lot of people, especially if you know, I mean, again, I've said the fact that I I am in Melbourne. I'm in Victoria, Australia, and um, we had like, seriously, it was the longest lockdown compared to like everywhere else in the world. Um, snake orbit. I'm going to update how the snake orbit works for a sec here, Pan. Instead of giving me two words, I'm going to get you to give me a profession. Um, what was I going to say? Anyway, we've all gone a bit kooky and weird in some ways. And lives have sort of changed a lot. And I mean, it's... There is that aspect of it, which honestly, like... It's emphasized how much we need, like, a lot more care given to, um... Like, to that aspect of everyone's existence. It's the whole fast food employee. All right, no worries, buddy. Um, I'll get I'll get to this snake oil prompt in just a sec, Pan. But the whole thing about, like, everyone struggling um, in their own way to, like, get through life, and more so since, like, this whole upset. It's not just the lockdowns themselves. I'm going to join another stream and come, come back. Yeah, no worries, Bushwhack. I'm just going to keep ranting while, <laughs> while I'm finishing this thought. But it's not just the fact that everyone went through all these lockdowns and now we're sort of going back to normal. It's everyone always had this stuff and everything was impactful just long enough for everyone to get a bit... It's not even get a little bit screwy in the head. It's more to the fact that it just revealed a lot of the stuff that we hold on to. And in the past... Like, a lot of the way we've had to do things in the past. Um, it's just meant that... Okay. I belong... I, I figured this out the other day, and I was never quite sure. I could never, never figure out the numbers and everything. But I am part of... Probably the earlier stage of, like, the millennial generation, I would think. Um, and we're young enough to enjoy all the perks of technology, but not young enough to get all the, like, the, the newest jokes and all that sort of jazz. Um, but um, everyone's sort of, like, our group and, and younger. I guess we all have to like develop, we've come up in a world that is so, not even different. The rate of change means that us especially have never had anything constant in our lives, I don't think. And so this lockdown sort of, everyone's trying to do their own thing. Everyone's trying to like live their life in like a way that makes sense, whether that's by your own law or by the societal law, like law or anything like that. Uh, back <laughs> all good bushwhack um and with all that sort of stuff i was gonna put more six eight nine plus a little bit extra with all that sort of stuff happening all the lockdowns really did for us was a sort of expose how deeply screwed we all tend to be in our own little ways um but at the same time, it gave us space to actually realize that. Today's world moves at such a damn fast pace that it's hard to actually, like, keep up with it in some ways. Um, it's hard to actually, like, maintain the status quo. Because status quo doesn't actually, like, fully properly exist in, in that sense. Um, because it's moving so legitimately fast and so, like, all that sort of stuff. So what the lockdowns did for us was actually screw us all over in the fact that we started to recognize 
a lot of our stuff subconsciously in a lot like predominantly the subconscious stuff floated to the surface a lot more and end up becoming part of like why things like better help and all that like all those counseling services like exist and why they're driving so well and and all that sort of stuff uh do i have discord i do sort of it's like a 60 percent setup not very sh not very um not very clear uh i think give me two seconds i'm just gonna check my twitch page oops copy to this page i think i might have it in my twitch page um uh description no Yeah, May the 8th was last time I tweet. I used Twitter, actually. Hang on, let me bring it open just for a sec. Because I do have one set up. And again, it's part of the mixed identity of, like, everything I've got going all at once. From old stuff. I'll see if I can find it for you, and I'll, um, I'll put a link in the chat for you. Um, I don't typically use it, but... In fact, I just need to... I realize I just need to upgrade my tech specs page. <laughs> My old computers definitely need some work. Um, all right. This one, the, the thing that I created. I created it back in the day, mostly because I, um, the Discord, mostly because it's like, it was the thing to do in a lot of ways. Um, here. I'm a friend you on this one or anything. I'll give you this link for here. Which will give you, take you to my um, old storytellers page. Wow, that was set up back in 2018. Gosh, last used in 2019. <laughs> so the thing does exist. I am in the middle of trying to rebrand a few things at the moment. I'm trying to get some new graphics set up and all that and all that sort of jazz. So. Um, yeah, uh, it exists. I haven't really used it too much. I will be getting there at some stage. Because, and again, this is going to go into it like the whole... If you... Uh, well, okay. If you're here, you will come to realize that I am very much like... Enjoy the deep psychology of personality typings and all that sort of stuff. I really much enjoy like the whole... Um... MBTI personality typings, the 16 personality side of things. It's useful as a tool, as a model to help um, things. I think people get a little too enthusiastic in terms of like, um, uh, too enthusiastic in terms of using it as a definition of why they do things as opposed to a model as to, hey, this is why similar people to me act in this similar sort of way. Now, my type does tend to be um very much over analytic uh very much we we go at our own pace so if you're expecting anything beyond uh i mean the sort of thing i'm doing today um the, this is the this is the sort of pace is sort of is is that i'm going through right now is what you would expect of people of my type uh do they get the friend request let me double check Um, I mean, I guess I got something without saying it, like, I got a picture of, like, a fire-looking thing. Yeah, okay. I'll add you into that one. Yep, no, it's there. It's all good. Got it. Alright, back on track. What was I trying to do? We need to let it go!
Do I want to put lead here? Cled. <laughs> Alright, that's right. To get lead, I need lapis. Because lapis was the gateway to everything else. That's where I needed the water bottle. Ah. Uh, let's make some sand. Yeah, did I have glass? I probably dumped the glass in here. Soon. One glass. Okay. Perfect. My inventory is so full of crap. Oh, say so leaves, leaves. Play sand, sand, sand. Okay, good. Let's just cook it all. And by I'll check out the Discord stuff a little bit later. I did, I did add the thing on, so let's take a look. Hang on. Not sure what happened, but I think this the some of the chatbot just caught I don't know. I don't know what it caught. Anyway. Uh glass. Okay, we've got glass. Water bottles. We've got water bottles. There's no water in there, so that's fine. Let's put all my stuff up there, because I'm getting a little mixed between a few things. Okay, water bottle. Good. Lapis. I need the dark oak by washing a coal sapling. I remember in the middle, there's always like a bit of a mix, mix thing of how to get this last bit done. All right, we got lapis. Let's chop down the iron tree for now. Yeah, I'm not too sure what happened there, bushwhack. All right. Now let's get our lapis. I think lapis, the key thing was. Lapis, the key thing is um, the acorns over anything else. Ah, oh, the dot is a link. Okay. Thanks for that there, Angel. If I thought it was a link, then maybe. That's probably why I did it. Again, this is the first time I've streamed in like a quarter in a few months. So everything is rusty. <laughs> Everything's a bit loosey-goosey. <laughs> oh. oh, right, Pan. Uh, fast food worker. I'm gonna draw. This is evol this is evolving as we go. So I'm gonna draw four cards. At random. At random. I'm not looking at them. The green part's getting filtered right out. <laughs> um The words are on my side, but I'm not actually looking at them. One. I'm looking at the camera to sort of make sure I'm getting some two. Three. And four. Pan, since you redeemed, I'm pretty sure it was 
Was it you, Pan? Hang on. I've got too many things open right now. Yep, it was you, Pam. So you're going to choose out of these four words, two of them specifically. We have... And it's going to look backwards on camera. Animal. We have... Revenge. It's going to focus in a second. There we go. Revenge. Ball. And doubt. You chose the profession fast food worker. Choose one of those four, uh, four words, uh, two of those four words, and I'll make a product out of it. Bushwhack, as far as the, um, as far as the link, uh, the Discord link or anything like that, I'll see about fixing it up a bit later. Um, if you hang around, if you check me out, um, in the next, like, day or two, um, I sure I can look after, yeah, exactly, thanks, Angel. Animal and Revenge, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll take a look at it. If you hang or if you check out uh, later on, I'm sure I'll be able to like work out the kinks and stuff like that. Um, I need more lapis. Alright, phone. Ah, needs my thumb. A fast food worker. Animal and revenge. Alright, give me a minute and I'll start the timer when I give you my spiel for a product. I think I've got something. So, you're a fast food worker. You're busy every day. And uh, sometimes your clientele just, they're just not great people. I mean, you do what you can. You look after the thing. You don't spit in their food. And at the end of the day, just for your own peace of mind and your own security, you get to have a revenge animal. That's right. All those people who come along and... Um, you know, just giving your stuff in your face and it's just not pleasant to deal with. Now, outside of your thing, outside of the place, there will be a creature waiting in the car park, waiting to strike, <laughs> waiting to bear down on these people that caused you a living hell, waiting to sink their fangs and claws and draw the very essence of these low-life scum that dare to... Uh, obliterate your peace of mind while you're just simply trying to get through a work day and earn a paycheck. There you go, one minute. <laughs> Server is free to anyone who wants to be in it. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> there you go, Pan. What do you think about the revenge animal for a fast food worker? Is that a sell? Is that a, is that a sale? Do I have a sale? All right, we got Lapis. In my inventory. <laughs> oh, leaves, get out of here. Um, dirt, I can get back to you later. Wood. All right. Um. All right, we got the lapis. What do we need the lapis for? Lead. Let's make lead. I'm missing sand resin. Angel Shine, I'll be with you in just a second with that prompt. <laughs> Opposite of a support animal. I don't know. If you got someone, who, if you got a revenge animal. <laughs> That's willing to, like, jump onto, like, other things. <laughs> uh, uh, 
Luckily, I got sand growing over here, so that's good. Alright. Do I have enough things to make a lead ember? I do! Now, a lead sapling requires me to pour it onto a dark oak. I've got access to dark oak somewhere. One block, three ingots. Hang on, three ingots, which means I'm getting to make up nine. Yep, so I just need to like basically remelt these. And I'll get it at the I'll get a block out so I can get the thing out. And then once I got lead, it's pretty straightforward between um pretty straightforward to get gold and silver, and then the diamond tree. And then I think we would have got the prestige point. Um <clears throat> Alright, Angel Shine. I'll take the profession, an animal control person. Um, I'll pick out some I'll pick out some cards again randomly to um to see if I can make a product to sell. Alright, so that's cooking away nicely. I need dark oak. Um How do I make the dark oak again? Need to wash a coal sapling. Place you there, ready to go. You're almost thing. Good. Pour that in. Lead. Melt you down. One. Hey oh wait, hang on. That's right. There's enough for two. Because this thing doubles. <clears throat> Led Zeppelin. We gotta go back to ten at some point. Ooh, we can we can do the um we can do the cobblestone mud bucket. I need a bucket of water. I'll need some dirty. Again, the die coke's not doing me too well for this. Oh, I've already got a piece of dirt. Good. And I'll need a piece of cobblestone, which I've got. Which I can pretty much just combine here, to be honest. I've got a bucket of mud. Uh, I'm, kept, I'm wondering where I'm getting the leaves from. It's from the putting bonsai pots. Alright. Uh, next. Gold and silver. Because that was a whole thing. To make gold poured onto a thing. Iron, lead... Where do I just put the lead sapling? These two trees should be enough to like get the requirements for the gold. And I've already got the flowers to do the um. Alright, let me Is this a family friendly stream? Not exactly. I wouldn't say I would call this family friendly, but I don't not make it a family friendly thing. I Put it this way, as per the chat rules that I set up, I pretty much say you do you, as long as you can demonstrate a uh, higher level of intellect in your conversational pieces, <laughs> then, 
then, um, then, yeah, I don't know, I, I, I personally have, I'm not against people who just swear every second word or something like that, but I would, I try to encourage people to have like a bit more of a vocabulary, vocabulary, I don't know, um, again, just random words, be you angel, uh, one, two, three, and four. I'll take a look at what these words are with you in just a second. Uh, Alright, we've got... Hang on two seconds while I switch this. I did pans one. I'll do the Rubik's as well after the uh, after the thing. So Angel, you gave me the profession of an animal control person. Your words are. This is gonna go well. Meat. Uh, wait for the focus. M Moon. My camera's not focusing on that one. Uh. This one says rain. There we go. And towel. So your four words to choose two words from are meat, moon, rain, and towel. And I will be selling a product to an animal control person. Wish I would have swore, but I didn't know if it wasn't family friendly ish. Put it this, like I said. I wouldn't recommend what I do for kids, but I don't prevent people from doing their thing either. So I'll have to read the words again, ads. That's all right. <laughs> so we've got the words. Hang on. I'll wait for the camera to focus in again. Come on. Come on. Anyway, we've got the words towel. We've got the word rain. That one was blurry for a while. Got the word... What's that? Moon? And we've got the word meat. So an animal control person, choose two of those words, and I'll see if I can come up with a product to sell to, uh, to an animal control person. <laughs> Towel meat. <laughs> Okay, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll think about it while I do the Rubik's Cube as well. Uh, Bushwhack, I'm going to mark that one off. Um, quick scramble. I won't do it, like, I can't do it right here because the microphone is, like, right there. Just outside. Um, you had enough, Pan. No, that's all right. Hope your assignment goes well for you. I'll be on my next stream. Yeah, I'll um, I'll try and schedule my next stream a little bit better moving forward. I'm hoping to get back into the regular pet pattern of of um like a regular a regular stream night. So, but dude, again, you've been you've been the um one of the oldest people who hung around me. So thanks always always, buddy. Um, all right. I need my timer again. Let's see if I can beat ninety seconds this time. Uh, stopwatch. Reset. Alright. I'm just going to take a quick look. Blue's right there. Green's there on the other side. Alright. Three, two, one, going. Orange. Orange, you glad I didn't say banana. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Right, top solve nice and quick on this one. Um, red is over that way. Blue, yes, good. Ah, I'm getting, I'm getting jammed. Although for some reason I've got like some antacid stuck all over my Rubik's cube. So, um, not sure what that is. Uh, right. Oh, 
It's always this one. I can never remember which pattern for one to get. Um, but that's good. This one goes against my natural tendency. Uh, where's my double? There's my double. Ah! Almost had it. Um, uh, 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 uh. Minute 24 that time. Minute 24. Um, <clears throat> all right, so mark this one off for now. Uh, tell me to. All right. One minute on the clock. Animal control is never the easiest thing in the world. However, if you are facing against furious little critters that want to tear your face off, or even just the, uh, the most basic of scavengers, here's what you, the product that you need. This product is a meat towel. That's right, this towel is made of pure meat. Any critters that, um, that you have to face off, if they're omnivores or carnivores, you can drag them out of hiding with this thing. If there is a herbivore, you can use it to push, the, like, scare the freaking hell out of them so that they never have to mess up or run away again. As long as you use this meat towel, you have a way of controlling the creatures that you could never have controlled before. Um, and, you know, it's good at a barbecue as well with some sauce. I don't know, I've got five seconds left on the thing, I couldn't think of anything else. Does this meat towel deserve a sale? Uh, I love snake oil. Any sort of Jackbox game that requires you to like make up stuff. Um, again, I do improv. I've been doing improv for most of this year. And working with the ideas that you've got in front of you, it's it's always has some internal value when you're like looking back on it. All right, what was I doing? I was aiming to get gold. Um. Oh, okay. I've got to remove that. Why is that even a setting? The chatbot, uh, sorry, the chatbot timed you out because it went on too long for some reason. Why is that even a thing? I'm going to turn off the paragraph one. I can see what you put in though. Uh, 1980. Brother got a Rubik's Cube from the death. Brother could not solve, so I picked off all the stickers and placed them correct. That's why these ones, there's no longer stickers. These are all hard plastic built into the, built into the thing. <clears throat> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> I can understand, like, old Rubik's Cubes with the stickers. I used to have one of those ones a while back. I know I'm a mod in another stream. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that one. Again, I've got really old settings, and I will be updating them in the next little bit, so... Um, but yeah, no. Um... Gold, 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 gold. What am I missing? Oh. Not in the crafting table. I'm literally missing the die. Good thing I've got you covered, boy! Now for a sapling, I've just got a pour it over an oak sapling. Luckily, I've got plenty of oak saplings. We're at the tail end. We doing it. Oh, wow. That thing started growing. Um, all right, so gold's on the works. Nope. Let's take a look at silver.
This one I need to pour the silver over mineral. That's right, mineral. I needed lapis. I need to wash lapis. <laughs> Reminds me of that old um. If you've ever heard that old joke about um the Italian who uh <laughs> went visiting like internationally. Um Oh that's right, this one wanted grey. And tin. I need to go back and do the tin. Um hang on. Oh here. Missing the flint? Really? The flint's in the other chest. In amber. Birch. Yeah, we did all the groundwork for all this sort of stuff, so now we can just race through a lot of these. <clears throat> no! Bad! Bad gold! Ugh. Concentrating on this before I'm yep, birch. Before I go back to anything on chat side. Alright, tin's melting. Alright, so that's gonna melt down. Uh the silver tree is definitely mineral. We get the silver ember. That's right, I needed to make the squeezer. Uh, did I save the squeezer? Yes, I did. And then I made a pressure pad for the squeezer. I put the squeezer here. And the pressure pad here. Because I needed the coal, squash, 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 squash. Turn that into that. Did I have any bone meal? It's already on me. Three glass bottles, of which I can go sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Gray? No, light gray. I'm missing the tin resin, but the tin resin... It's tin in this pack. I'm gonna put this oak thing back. All right, we're racing now. We're racing towards a finish on this prestige point. All right, twerky time. Ah. Oh, and um, before I forget, any of your fans. Of good omens. Terry Pratchett or Neil Gamian fans. Uh, yeah. If uh, 
if you know who my who my uh character my skin is at the moment um yeah <laughs> i don't know props to you bragging rights i don't know but uh yeah any guesses uh, i'll take guesses as to who what my skin is at the moment Someone who I'm thinking about doing a cosplay of at um, at PAX in Australia. PAX Oz. Heard of it, but never seen it. No idea. <laughs> if you haven't seen Good Omens, the uh, second season just launched recently. I highly, highly recommend the shoe. Prepare my hatchet. Just saw it, remember now. <laughs> I'm not the devil, I'm just a devil. <laughs> I mean, the Lord of All Hell's kind of a bit snuffy, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean, all a devil's got to do these days is just ask a few questions and then get kicked out of heaven. It's a really bad, really bad Cockney accent. <laughs> Just really ignore the status quo, you see? I put too much, like, lisp between the teeth when I try to do that sort of accent. I mean, anyone can do a proper English accent, if I'm honest. Anyone can really. Just, like, put it to the chest. But, um... I guess getting that proper cock. It's because you try to do it too much. I've done some stuff in the past. Obviously, my Irish accent. Irish accent and my Scottish accent are quite strong. I can do those with no problem at all, and somehow I seem to be doing it outside of my mouth. And as far as a proper cockney, well, I'm working on it, you see, because uh, when I go to PAX in October, um,. I've already got my outfit sorted for, uh, sorted for, uh, to do Billy Butcher, you see? So, I'm not cutting my hair. I will say that up front, I'm not cutting my hair. You got, can you go toss yourselves if you think that's gonna happen. But, here's the thing. Right? No one knows how Carl Arvin do, does his accent quite right. I mean, I'm sure some people can figure it out. If they're a bit more clever, but for me, I think my cockney is sort of he's not even full cockney, you see. I don't know what is uh, he does. All I know is if you're gonna do someone like Billy Butcher, you just gotta really just speak from the chest. Nothing up here. It's all right there. Anyone sells otherwise can go off himself. And that is amateur <laughs> amateur hour. <laughs> Silver Surfer. All right. Oh, that's melting away. I just saw that pop up. Snake oil. All right, Bushwhack. Give me a profession, but dude. Give me a profession, I'll pick out I'll pick out some random cards, we'll see what words we get. one 
And here's two. He's the base as a person, not a profession. Come on. <laughs> I need to get some bone stuff going again. Because I need to do some growing in the next little bit. If you're rich, you are a beast. Again. This is me going in for the thought experiment side of things, but and I'll get I'll get to the um I'll get to, if I can get a profession, an actual profession rather than an individual. Um not wanting to stifle the idea. I mean, I don't know if I go with like YouTuber or something like that, maybe I could um thing. I don't watch Mr. Beast like I've seen bits and pieces and I get what he does. I just don't know the, the source material. If you're wanting to go with like a like online personality, a YouTuber, something like that, I'll um I'll, I can take it as such. As that is the prompt. I just yeah I don't pay attention to like. It sounds weird, but I don't pay attention to other people's altruism if that makes sense. Um, I mean, the stuff he does is for content, yes, but, um, and I get that he does good things, and he's got, like, a whole line of products, and he's a rich dude these days. And, yes, he does a lot of stuff that's, like, very much kind and everything like that. He's got... Okay, so, like, a moderator. Alright. Um. His chest is getting full of stuff. I'm gonna double the silver stuff. Um, <clears throat> alright. Let me do a couple of quick tasks here, so I can see if I can get this wrapped through. Diamonds. I need to get the redstone thing going. Oh, do I still have any red dyed water? No. Which means I'm going back to bone. Also, <clears throat> corn. I don't have enough for the corn bit. Jeez, we're back here, are we? I needed sugar for something. Oh, I know what I needed sugar for. I need it for the uh, donut sapling. I got all the apple trees. I am... What am I short? I'm short corn. I think. Come on! Ah! Alright, just while I'm waiting for these trees to try and finish growing... Bushwhack, your words are. Wait for this to focus. Bring back here. You can't see if it's back there. Um, come on, camera, focus. 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 That says night. That says. Come on. That says handle. I should set up the other webcam. I've still got my old webcam for like maybe close up stuff. 
That says freedom. I know it's backwards. And this one says sleep. So just to reiterate the words, you've got night, handle, freedom, sleep. And I'll try and sell a product based off two of those words that you select to a online moderator. <laughs> Freedom Night. <laughs> I mean, this almost seems like a... Uh... Oh, hang on. I'll think about it for two secs. Alright, I think... I think I've got something pretty good for you. One minute on the clock. And I'm going to start that one now. So, you mod for someone else. You look after them. You, you have their back in case things go wrong, that sort of thing. You keep an eye on all the troublesome folks that exist on the internet. Well, I the product that is up for sale for you today, this is night freedom. This is basically the equivalent of you going on purge night. That's right. You are now the tr instigator of trouble. You are now the agent of chaos. Alert with free reign, license to kill, license to murder, and the you know, unalive things. Um, metaphorically speaking, of course, since it's on the internet. Um, you now have license to do whatever you want, um, risk free, um, no consequences, and just, you know, instead of putting up with everyone else's crap for a night, you are now the crap that everyone else puts up with. You get a night off. This is Night Freedom. <laughs> Do I have a sale on Night Freedom? <laughs> Angel, you said you're a mod, so how's that feel? <laughs> uh... Alright. Boom. I'm gonna need more kern. I'm gonna need at least 32 corn, I think. Oh, just short. Okay, another batch of trees. We're so close! In fact, you know what? Hang on. Let's get the cow seeds first. And go plant the cow seeds. <laughs> Hammer is ready for night freedom. <laughs> the bots version. Yeah, you know what? I might just for now. I might quickly turn off the um. Might just turn off the prompts on the bot because it is blocking out a lot of random stuff. There we go, that's fixed up. <clears throat> I 
More trees! More trees, more bones, more stuff. Also, while... I can I can do this and multitask. I can chop wood and twerk. Also, do I have five iron? Because I think if I've got five iron, I can skip the need for a lot of the bones, actually. I'll still do this because it'll give me some it'll give me some of the backup resource, but I just I've completely forgot about that actually. Um I do. Let me navigate my way through here, grab a water. Because now Yes, I can skip the need for bones. Even though I just did all that stuff to get the bones. Yes, we can. Yes, grow. Grow. <laughs> yes, and it's growing me another cow too. One more and I'll be able to get pigs going. Come on. Yep. Good, good. And wheat. Uh, I will trade you for your finest pig. All right, I need carrots too. Ooh, ooh, nearly lost it. Piggy. I actually need a little bit of wheat. I should grow some more wheat. We're almost there. We are almost there. We've got cows. We've got pigs. Don't look at me like that, boys. What? Yeah, sorry about that, Bushwick. I turned off the um the stuff because I'm pretty sure it's not needed. Grow. Grow, Wheaties. Grow. Why you not grow? The sugar cane's growing. <laughs> Why you not grow? Whoops. Oh, is it the light? Must be because of the light levels low or something. Um. Does the coal piece do anything? Except, nope, just turn into bigger coal. Hang on. All right. I can smell the prestige point. I'm just I'm sorry. <laughs> um, where'd I put the hoe? Hoe's not in there. Here's the hoe. Actually, do I have carrot seed? Melon, corn, pumpkin. Seed, seeds. I'm on a move, piggy.
All right, we have just quadrupled this stuff. Ooh, Jason, welcome, my dude. It's Belush. Must be the light level. Um. Yeah, there you go. Make me some charcoal. I'll make torches with charcoal. That'll do it. Uh, when do I end? I end when I get the prestige point. <laughs> Which, honestly, I'm not far off. Um, when the cows grow up, I'll have milk and I can pretty much make those. Um, when the pigs grow up, I'll be able to make this. I can probably get these two pretty much right away now. Um, the only thing is just the redstone sapling and then the diamond sapling is not far off, to be honest. Um... I just need silver resin and the redstone sapling. The redstone sapling... The redstone sapling is why I needed the bone meal. So, part of this is waiting for the animals here to finish growing. Which, if I had access to carrots, I could make them grow a little bit quicker. Come on, I just need red! Give me tons of yellow. Move, Peggy. Yes! Finally, red. Uh, red stone. Let's grow the red stone. If I can't craft at one crafting table, then another one will sort of do the job, so that's fine. Here. Plants and seeds and all that sort of fun stuff. What's my wheat levels like? I chucked my wheat away somewhere, didn't I? Plenty of wheat. Uh, let's take a look. Discord. I keep any, like, stuff, Discord stuff, off stream for now. Um, if I ever find someone that, and don't take this the wrong way or anything, but if I find someone that I'm going to work with on stream, then I will basically, yeah, work with them off until there's, like, an agreed upon thing. I don't do anything, I don't make any decisions midstream like that, so. Um, one. Oops. Two, three, four. Come on, come on. So close to demons. Or excavator definitely may, would make this faster. If I bothered with the automated bonsai pots, that would go a lot faster as well. But or excavator is going to be the big like thing that really gets this bit off the ground. So, um, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Silver resin. Silver resin's probably in this tub here. But if I go from here, whoops, nope, diamonds. It's missing the other ones. So I pull that down there. And then I 
Grow, diamond tree, grow! What's another good game? Uh... Alright. First of all, let's specify the question. When you say good game, are we talking, uh... Digital, or are we talking tabletop? And if we are talking digital, what sort of genre are we going with? Digital, okay. So if we're going with digital... Um... I mean, do you have a style? Any genre? Alright. I'll give- I'll give a couple of things that I- I really enjoy. Number one... If... You... Like the Minecraft style of things. Where it's like the voxel... Um... Block building, all that sort of stuff. But you want a really good story... Um... I will always recommend Dragon Quest Builders 2. Um, that game is phenomenal. And while probably not quite as universal as like Minecraft or something like that, it is a pretty, like, it's top notch. I love that game to bits. The first Dragon Quest Builders has been the only game that I've ever platinumed on, platinumed on PlayStation. On PlayStation Network. Um, and like I said, I have a project in the works where? What? What? There was a cow that was dying somewhere. What happened? What happened? Did you do it? Yes, you. I have no idea. It sounded like a cow was just dying. Alright. I need acorns. I need two more acorns. Stop giving me... Come on! Stop giving me saplings, give me acorns. I literally need like two more. Eight. Come on. Come on. Got it. Alright, nine icons, diamonds. Alright, we've done everything across the bottom. I need to wait for the cows to grow up. How much longer you got? Eight minutes. Nine minutes. Okay, that's fine. We can work with that. Um. Take the water out. Put the water in. We need rocks. Uh, sorry, I was hyper focused for a second there. Um, so yeah, Dragon Quest Builders Two. If you like this sort of style, if you're not going with this, I am a highly strategic. I wouldn't say chess sort of person, but. Um, along those lines. I very much enjoy a lot of the Fire Emblem series. Um. So, if you... There we go, Obsidian. If you... Like to dabble in strategy and all that sort of stuff, I will always highly recommend that. Um... I'm not really a Rudy Tootie bangy shooty sort of person. So FPS, I I don't go in for FPS or anything like that. Um
I'm just gonna dump everything on this one, keep that one empty. Hang on, I need to pull speed click. No! Yep, yep, we're throwing them out. And this should give us the other one, because it's at least a single chest full. There we go, cobble cobble. These ones are done. Um, bacon, we're waiting for the pigs to grow up. We can make the donut saplings now. Angel watched a lot of Valorant. Seems adventurous with mob fighting and planning building and multiplayer. Yeah? Yeah? <clears throat> Valorant's still in that FPS shoot genre. I, think. Um, I personally love Slay the Spire. Um, if you want something where it gives you the time to sort of sit and think about your next move and plan that out and everything like that, then yeah, I highly recommend Slay the Spire. Um, it goes deep. It gets hard as hell to really like beat it, but it's always good. Um, I'm a big fan of Dead Cells. I wish I could have got in on time to um, on the Kickstarter for the board game version. Um, that that. But Dead Cells is always good fun, and they've been adding expansions and and um, all sorts to it for a long time now. Um, I think they might be sort of planning to sort of end their work on it, but they, I mean, the last one was the massive Castlevania um, update, so that's always, um, that was great. Um, again, I've got nowhere close to even finishing or even doing the hardest difficulty on it, but um, there's that just released if you like your old school Mega Man games with a mix of um, a mix of Metroidvania and, and procedurally generated stuff um, 20XX was a really good one that I've finished but not completed I beat I beat several runs on that and unlocked most of the things for it and they just the same developers just released 30XX, um, which is like the sequel. So it's literally like a um, thousand years later, I guess. <laughs> um, so there is that. Um, and that one has multiplayer as well if you want to play with other people. So that's a good fun one. Uh, let me think of other games that I would typically go in for. <laughs> I'm just looking at my my, my desktop now. Um, I love nonograms. Huh? Not sure what you meant by that last bit there, Bushwick. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of nonograms, and there's a game called Murder by Numbers, which has a great story to it, but it is effectively just, um, just purely uh pick ross puzzles basically oh phasmophobia okay yep 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 i don't know horror is not a genre that i typically would go in for personally but yeah um i need my bucket for when the things grow up i need i'm gonna need a cactus the blue slime again lapis okay lapis is coming in clutch again that'll take care of those two donuts Cook dough dough which was a bucket of water in just four weeks which is real easy. The wheat's back in this chest. We are literally in the home stretch right now. One, two, three, four. Let's cook the dough. How long have you got? Four minutes, basically. Um... While they're cooking the dough. That's 
take the other weed as well because I feel like I might need it. Sugar cane. Sugar cane. Sugar cane. Sugar for that one. Apple. That's right, I need apple saplings for the two of them. Almost there. Oh. Yeah, I'm about to hit. I'm about to hit the five hour mark. What is it? Two minutes, four minutes, three minutes. I've got time for a Rubik's solve. For these guys to finish growing up. All right. Good scramble. Honestly, Rubik's cubes. In terms of scrambling it, once you've done about five turns, they're about as scrambled as they're gonna get, honestly. Anything beyond that is just more like playing around with it. Is it five or seven? I can't remember. But yeah, once you get like past a small number of turns, it's not that much. Cubes are gonna be as scrambled as it can get. All right, we've got to be, what was my time before? 126. So we'll see if we can beat that. All right, take a quick look. All right, three, two, one, going. Uh, red, here, ah, ah. All right, cross is made, bits across the bottom, I can't see it. Force and into position. Alright, we've got a red. This. So the top's done, so let's do the sides. And then let's do the other side here. And then let's go with this one. And then let's go with this one here. Give me a good pattern on the bottom. That's what she said. Dang it. Now I'm getting stuck on this bit. Nope, I'm good. And maybe I'm good. Nope, this is going to be a longer time. Maybe not. 124! I fell into a lucky bit there. I didn't have to do the last algorithm. Two seconds better. All right. Full size cow! Slime. More cow. Blue slapling! Slap... Slapling? Next up... Piggy, piggy, piggy! 40 seconds, 18... Maybe it was a pig that died before. 9... 8... This is a countdown to his... <laughs> countdown to his unaliving! <laughs> 3... 2... 1... You just watched. <laughs> that dude just watched. All right. All right. All right. All right. Donut. Donut sapling.
We're going to eat this other donut that we didn't use. And the reason why we got the chopping blocks. Chop, 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 chop. Bacon! Chop, 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 chop. More bacon. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Bong! We gain one prestige point! Mob grinder utilities, fertile soil. We know what we're going for. Ore excavation. Oh! Took a little bit longer than I thought. Woo! Vein mining! Vein mining! Vein mining! Tool bro broke my tool! I'm gonna take half the rocks. Now I can go back to vein mining! Woo! All done in one shot! And, um... Should I celebrate? Should I celebrate in style? Take out the floor? <laughs> Alright. Alright, Bush, we got, we got one more. I need to try and dinner making time. Ah, uh, thanks, Angel. Thanks for hanging around. Thanks for um, chatting. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah, look, enjoy your dinner. Hopefully it's a good one. Um, and yeah, maybe I will catch you around. I'm sure I'd love to have you back. Look after yourself, stay safe, and um, yeah. YouTuber. <laughs> really got original on this one here, Bushwack. Right, that's all good. Um, all right. Celebratory snake oil run. Four random cards. Just, I pulled them out together from one part of the deck. Let's take a look. Your words are... Bridge. Shadow. Chain. And fluid. Four words. Bridge, shadow, chain, and fluid. For a YouTuber. And we're going to celebrate this in style. Boom! Farewell, cows! chain. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's think about this for a second. Infinite Fall, yeah. <laughs> the best part of, of Sky Factory 4. Um, alright. I think I've got something for a YouTuber. Alright, in three, two, one. YouTubers, your biggest issue here is that you have to deal with the craziness of algorithms and all that sort of stuff. What you didn't know, in the background, the algorithm is actually just a secret, is just a like massive systems of pulleys and chains and and you know, just it's actually mechanical, not digital. Um, if you can find a way to get into it. You can hack that system by coming along. We've got for you chain fluid. It's something where if you can if you can physically break into like YouTube space and all that sort of stuff, you can change the mechanical works and really jam up some areas to your advantage. You can, you know, make some areas a little bit smoother for your advantage. Give you the advantage, give you the thing that other people are not willing to do. If you can get to a YouTube headquarters, break in and actually physically mechanically change how it works, then your career is assured. Thank you. 
I have no idea how I was going to spin that one. <laughs> And sploosh! Oh. <laughs> Just destroy the world. <laughs> oh no! The, tra the train is gone too! <laughs> Fuck off! Fuck off! Imagine having to live in a world, in a universe where it's like, this is your world. Everything's just, everything you need's there. It's just. <laughs> oh no, you had an ad? Oh. Alright. Worst case scenario, how about this? Um, I can't, I'm not going to do it again because I don't think I, I don't think I have it in me to be honest. Um, I will put each of my snake oil um, bits from tonight. I'm going to put each of my snake oil bits onto my YouTube channel as shorts. That is, that's probably going to be the best thing I can do. The stream, I'm going to wrap things up here anyway. So uh, let me just do this. And... The heck happened to my camera? Hang on, let me fix this up. Well, my camera's actually a little bit low. Let me just double check the filters. Oh, 125 is way too much. Now that's way too low. Eh, I'll work out the actual um, I'll work out the actual stuff later. Right? There we go. So, hey, thank you very much, Bushwag. Appreciate it. I could use I could use a few more. <laughs> if you sub, that means that you're lucky number fourteen. So we'll see. Um, <clears throat> my YouTube, honestly, it doesn't have any any niche. It's just. Whatever I've sort of been able to come up with at the time. So, I don't know. We'll see how this pans out. Um, all right. Um, I don't have any concrete plans for the next stream. Yep, I'm 14. Hey! Thanks so much, buddy. Um, I've got a lot of unreleased stuff sitting in my YouTube channel, like on my YouTube archives from all my past stuff. Um, my very first video that I ever, ever did was actually me doing Fire Emblem uh, from the Game Boy Advance, which you can actually play on Switch now, which is brilliant. Um, the first one in the West, at least. Um, I have to double check if that ever actually released. Like my oldest stuff. Back before I had like any good quality, like, um, uh, good quality equipment to like capture and everything with. Um, yeah, look, honestly, get the Game Boy uh, on the Game Boy Advance emulator. They updated it with Fire Emblem recently. Like, if you love a good story, it's good. Um, you have to play through normal mode before you play through hard mode. Um, and there are differences between the two. But um, hard mode is definitely worth it. And when you unlock the third character on your second run through, um, that's definitely worth it as well. Because it's got, like, it's got extra challenge. Um different maps um or different map layouts at least so but yeah strategy top notch um and it was a lot simpler before like fire emblem three houses um on the switch um that held like all the like extra stuff which i get a lot of people love but uh i don't know i liked where it evolved to the point where it was a bit more beyond basic but didn't have everything like that's why i liked fire emblem engage a lot it was a lot more it didn't have all that extra like classes and, and, and all that sort of stuff um i'm a big believer in the fact if you can create something under restriction genuine like fire emblem at the time would have had the restrictions of um of the system at the time um 
and so they had to create something massive and sprawling for what it was under the restrictions of like the equipment but it was a it was it is a phenomenal series it's a phenomenal game um, itself but, um losing my train of thought. okay so yeah no sets uh it's primarily single player so just keep that in mind all right as far as announcements for next stream um i don't have anything set in concrete um i'm hoping to get on at least sometime next week maybe one more time this week but i'm not too sure i possibly have not the ability to get on tomorrow night and i'm gonna start doing my just a casual run through of dragon quest building one um we'll be doing it on the playstation 4 um so we'll see how that i'm not doing it for any I'm, I'm only doing this playthrough for research purposes so I can go back and do like an actual uh, YouTube run. So that's going to be good. Um, for a second. What time is it? It's 12.34 a.m. at the moment. So um, for me, who's pretty much a night owl, this is probably the start of my night. Um, anyway. So streams i will i'm going to spend some time to maybe tidy everything up um and get back into it i've enjoyed tonight immensely huh. in that neck of the woods 3 p.m oh, okay um what am i saying here i am yeah so stream schedule i haven't worked out since this is the first time in like may this is sort of i'm gonna sort of half count this maybe not half quarter count this as my fourth anniversary stream which was would have been back in in july if i planned it um like i said mental health all that sort of stuff you've got to really look after it and when it goes down real it's, it's hard to break so hopefully you're all looking after yourselves as much as you can um upcoming projects for me um, I've dropped a few things through the stream where, like I said, Dragon Quest Build is one. I'm doing the research set of streams just to get the game through and figure that one out. Um, <clears throat> it's been a long time since I played it. I originally played it back on the PS Vita, which underrated system. Uh, I'm just going to straighten up again. The other things that I'm watching. If you've got any suggestions for games that I could do on the channel that sort of fit my niche, it would either have to have some sort of, um, like 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 this sort of Minecraft where it's like sandboxy and just where you can make up your own thing as you go, um, or if it's got a really good story that doesn't already have voice acting, I'm up for it. I typically want to produce content on games that are at least have at least two years of two years of age as of the date. Of the start of the production cycle. So, I mean, me doing Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, that's always an option, or Heart Gold Soul Silver. I started doing some streams on the a little bit back, but yeah. Um, hell, I would, I would even consider doing like a, um, a Nuz not a Nuzlocke, a randomizer run of something like that. Maybe doing a randomizer run of like Into Past or something like that. Um, yeah, five hours. <laughs> this is just me rambling just to sort of take things out. Um, but yeah, if there's any suggestions there, I'm sure to take a look at them. But those are sort of my criteria. Has to be at least two years old because I like to be behind the trend, not in front of it. <laughs> um, and I like to have sort of like a little bit of that research around it. And even if it's a bit of a like a little bit of a buried classic like i said dragon quest builders one i'm all for it i love that game how long have you been here oh quite a while my dude um yeah if you've liked what you said if you'd like just chilling out with me um i'm on twitter i'm on youtube i won't suggest any other socials because i haven't really used them too much um but yeah jump over on my youtube 
leave a sub over there because I would really appreciate the support. If I can get to the point where I've got 100, um, maybe it'll show that I'm, yeah, uh, it'll show support and I would appreciate it. Um, here on Twitch, hey, support me where you can. Um, I would really appreciate that as well. Um, over on Twitter, I'm going to get a bit more active again, but seeing as Twitter's, there's whole, the whole thing between Twitter, like, sort of crazy out. Like, all this weird crap that's going on with it, I don't know. I'm sure I'll figure out, like, what's going on. I think my focus in the near future is going to be more on the YouTube side of things. Um, between games that I'm interested in, between several projects that I'm working on, and potentially, like, a, um, like podcast sort of thing based off like short thoughts, short thoughts that I'd have. Shower, we'll call it shower thought for now. But um, yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be me. Let's wrap up the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, look out there. Look after yourselves. Look after each other where possible, because this world is an awesome place, and I think we should be doing everything that we can to contribute towards like genuine positivity not not the stuff not like oh you know what's the word I'm, kind of brain dead optimism but genuine positivity i want us to be out there spreading our part because there's already enough bad news and bad stuff that we're out here spreading. um yeah until the next video the next stream whatever i do next look after yourselves then and i will catch you next time until then bye now and i'm just going to take a quick look to see if there's anyone on Twitch that might be worth patching in the long run. Well, my buddy Looper's playing, um, Looper Wolf is playing, uh, Apex. So I might jump on with her and, um, yeah. Uh, <coughs> how do you do the raid again? It's been a while. How to raid. Forward slash. Forward slash. Capital L. I need to do capital L. I need to do the I. Hang on. I'll figure out this raid in just a second. <laughs> load in, load in. No, don't need to do the app. That's fine. All right. Look after yourselves. I'll raid in on our buddy, on my buddy Looper. And um, I'll catch you in the next time I'm on. Bye now.